when I watch the VODs, I usually yell at the TV. Roy, so I hope that's not because I do, like, things terribly. But, uh, <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm when watching the VODs, at least. Happy you're here to make it live, though. How are you doing today, everybody? I'm pretty sure I pressed my unmute button. I always second-guess myself on that one, but it looks like we're fine. Let me shuffle my windows around here so I'm a little more, um... There we go, a little more optimized, a little more streamlined here. Hello, Karita, Elaine. Love to see all the familiar faces in here. Have a good one there, NP7. Thanks for dropping in to say hello. You destroyed your only sunflower? I mean, yeah, but live a little, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's life without a little excitement? We can't just be Mr. Perfect all the time. I did it on purpose, I dare say. I didn't actually. I was, it was a total flub, but... <laughs> ate the carp right in front of the bear. Yeah, you know what, fair. Sometimes I do deserve to be yelled at for things like that. At any rate... This is a new beat, isn't it? This is a Stardew Valley song. It's always been in the in the rotation for the music. It is a uh, Volcano Mines Forgotten World. So one of the one of the newer songs from like Ginger Island and all that stuff. But it is Stardew Valley. Either way, before we get into the actual Stardew Valley, we do have uh, some fan art. Actually, only one piece of fan art to go over today. There was more in the Discord, and I was gonna get them like ready right before the stream, like I normally do, uh, with like people's names and stuff to give them credit, but. As some of you may know, Discord was was down up until slightly before the stream started. So I didn't really have the chance. Uh, fortunately, someone did send me some artwork through Twitter, so I was able to snag that one and get it set up in, set up in time. But apologies to any of the fan artists that uh, will have to wait until next stream in order to have the artwork showcased because of that little snafu on Discord's part. But, I digress. Let's hop over and see what we got here. Because I do actually really like... This piece of fan art that we got from Siftelins. It is... I, I really like this style. It's a very unique style. And I absolutely adore it. Not to mention, I mean, the subject matter. You got Chloe, you got to, uh, you got Krobus there. Handing off the star drop. We had to pay for that star drop. Thanks, Krobus. We had to pay... We had, we had, well, I'll be, I'll be fair to Krobus. We had to pay for his first star drop. The second one he's going to give us when we actually uh, get him as a housemate. That will be free of charge, which just our love. But... Yeah, no, this is really, really good. I like this. It, does it give anyone else, like, um, Franbo vibes? Franbo, or what's the other? There's Little Misfortune. Those two games have, like, very distinct art styles. And this got, I got kind of that, uh, that vibe from this. I don't know if that's just me, but it's, um, yeah, no, it's really cool. Either way, thank you to, uh, Siftelins and all the other fan artists as well who have been sharing fan art. If you'd like to share fan art yourself exclamation point discord you can share it in the uh, fan art channel there now that discord is back online you can also tweet it at me at argon matrix however you prefer to share it either way i digress let me uh oh hold on well i guess i, I guess i can be in stardew that's not a big deal i usually go over to the thing so you don't see like my me load into the game and see like all my other files in case i spoil anything there that i might be working on but i mean i think i spoiled some stuff anyway when i reset the day the other time so it's fine if anyone was paying close attention. Are you marrying Haley or Krobus? I will be marrying Krobus because uh, he's the only one that does not cost any money to marry. Because we don't have to get the bouquet or the mermaid's pendant. Um, let me load in here. There we go. Hello from Florida. Hello to you as well, Lily. All right, we're in. We are in this. It's egg festival day. We're going to thrash Abigail, and then we're going to run back into town to do our garbage collection. So, Because we kind of have to, unfortunately. We're not able to do the garbage collection before the Egg Festival, because they're all like setting up, and they don't want to see let us see behind the curtain for that one for whatever reason. By the way, um, I will mention, I did add two new commands. Uh, exclamation point commands, if you want a list of like all the commands that are available to you. Most of them are informative, or at least fun. Uh, the new commands I added, I won, added exclamation point cart, which will um, tell you what items we still have to get from traveling cart and at what price. And I'll update that as we get them, obviously. 
And then another one that I added that's probably not going to be used for a long time, but I figured I might as well get it in, in the same vein, is, um, exclamation point cart with a C, yeah. The other one, the other one that, oh my gosh, Nightbot, you guys are just <laughs> overwhelming Nightbot all of a sudden. That's funny. Uh, the other one that I added is exclamation point treasure, which is um, all the things that we'll need to get from the Skull Cavern treasure rooms when we eventually get there. So obviously, like I said, not going to be huge right off the bat here, but it is going to be um, useful eventually. So that's all. That is all today. Hello, Tim B. Yo, eight iridium ore. What's like the max? Like I, I haven't even looked at like the ranges of uh, stuff you can get from Irinate from the Statue of Perfection. There, eight seems like so much though. It's got to be like up there. And I did also manually go in and update the uh, the cactus fruit command because I think we had missed a few days of adding of using like the more trash commands to keep it up to date i went i went back and just did the math because we started checking those on winter first so if i did the math multiply it by eight and everything you forgot rain totem uh karita i did think about rain totem and i probably should like add it just to just for completeness sake but it's going to be so much more likely than the seeds that we have to get from the treasure rooms that i figure it's better to just focus on those for right now i also didn't want to like uh, have to type out, like, you know, cat, like, all the different... I, I like just saying, like, these are the different seeds we have to get from the treasure rooms, and then, like, not have to type out seeds, like, five different times, but I'm sure there's, like, ways around that, obviously. For now, I digress. Let's just get a move on with the show here. One thing I was considering, and I don't know if this is a, a good idea or not, but I was thinking about the... Because I, I do have my mind on the Skull Cavern for when we eventually get there. And treasure rooms are influenced by luck, so we want to have luck boosting food and drink, potentially, when we get there. Um, I know that a good choice for, like, luck food is, like, a lot of people go with, like, spicy eels, right? Because they are, they boost speed and luck. But I was also looking at, um, lucky lunches. Because they boost luck by three instead of just the one, and then we can just use our uh, triple shot espresso for the speed buff. And that might be the play, but in order to do that, I'd have to set up some extra stuff, and I wonder if I should start setting that up now in order to get ahead of the game and have a bunch of lucky lunches when it comes time to do the treasure rooms. I'd need to have, like, a corn, like a corn farm. I'd need for, like, the tortillas that you need to make lucky lunches. Because for lucky lunches, the recipe is a tortilla, a sea cucumber, and a blue jazz. So we can grow the blue jazz, and we can grow the corn, and then we can put a sea cucumber in the fish pond and do it that way. Magic Rock Candy and Ginger Ale with Cheese Seasoning. That's the th I knew. I know that Magic Rock Candy is definitely like the play. I just don't know how viable it is for me to like get all of, get get a lot of those. Maybe I'm underestimating how much uh, how many prismatic shards I'm gonna get or something like that. But it feels like going for lucky lunches could be a good play too. I have to pan for the ring. Yeah, we also do have to worry about um, the lucky ring at some point. That would be that would be really nice to get. If you take the eels out of the fish pond, be sure to eat them all. Don't worry, Chance. I got you covered. All right, let's go do this egg festival before anything else here. Lucky lunch is wise. It feels like the right call to me. I don't know. It's like, it's not the meta play, I know. Like, obviously the meta is magic rock candies, but like... I don't know if I trust myself to do that. And also, can't you only get, like, Magic Rock Candies, like, you can only get, like, one per week or something? We're going to have to be doing a lot of Skull Caverns, so I need, I might need more than that. You add an emoji to your channel hoping to use it to troll here. Turns out emojis on YouTube aren't like emotes on Twitch. No, Blade! <laughs> I would have been so down for that troll if you had set up, like, a... Like, because I saw you at the very start of the stream, you were trying to do, like, a cactus fruit emoji. And uh, it was, uh, <laughs> it didn't work out. I appreciate the effort, though. That is a, that is a, a deep troll right there. Zion, thank you for the 179 uh, pound super chat. It's my YouTube dad. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, we're not ready for the egg hunt yet, no. Not sure quite how I feel about that, but <laughs> it is, um, 
appreciated. The support is greatly appreciated. All right, who should I be talking to? Because I don't need to talk to necessarily everybody. I get in the habit of doing that, but, like, let's just cover our bases. So Demetrius, Jass, Kent, and Robin, because we missed her freaking birthday. And the dwarf is not here, obviously. So we got Robin, we got Demetrius. So Jass and Kent. Did I get... Did, I thought I talked to Kent already. Did I not look at that right? I did talk to Kent. Okay, so we just need to find Jass. It's your character holding a cactus fruit. I could adjust it to be Chloe holding a cactus fruit and we could add it to your channel. We could give that a shot, Blade. I'd be down for that. <laughs> Alright, um... Just making sure I'm all caught up here. Make sure you get the Lucky Charm for the secret note. I will get that claw tooth, but uh, to do that you need a rabbit's foot. And that is going to take a little while to get there, because we need to get that as a drop from serpents, I believe. Either way, I think we're good to start the Egg Festival. Let's go for the world record. I haven't done any Egg Festival practice, but I did watch, like, uh, like on Z's stream a while back, I watched him and Charlie do, like, the like reverse controls or jumble controls thing. And I saw the path they were taking. I've never taken that path before, so I'll, I'll like, give it a try and just see how it works out. I, I'm used to taking a path that gets me, like, 12 or 13 eggs. But clearly, we can do better. I don't know I don't know how the how best to start this, but all right, that's one there. Grab one here. I need my triple shot espresso, man. I feel so slow. <laughs> all right, uh Maru, is there like an egg around here somewhere? I think so. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good one to go for or not, but here we are. Trying out new things, trying out new stuff. New tactics, Abigail. I will smoke you. I will destroy you. Get out of my way. Getting this one by the sewer. What's the record for this? Like for like a like a single person, as far as eggs go, isn't it like it's like something crazy, like seventeen or eighteen eggs? I, I don't even know honestly. Clearly, the way I'm doing this is not optimal because I'm only gonna have like the same that I normally do. But we should still win either way. It's not a big deal. Yeah, like twelve eggs is fine. Eighteen. Yeah, eighteen seems insane. It is my lucky number though. <laughs> I should have tried the stutter step uh, one from Blade's video, though. That would have been funny. Chloe again. Who could have guessed it? You'll love to see it. Here's your prize. Thank you, thank you. Another thousand gold in the bank. Small step towards that ten million that we eventually need. <laughs> and now let's go do our actual, like, the important stuff here. If only you could keep those eggs. You're telling me. Oh my god. Please, Mayor Lewis. Let, let that be the reward for the egg festival. Let me just have the eggs. I, that would be so much more helpful than a thousand freaking gold or a straw hat or whatever the hell else. Oh well. We'll get our eggs eventually. It's only a matter of time. Someone in the comments of the, like, the most recent VOD said I should try and do some backwards garbage runs, start at Joja and work my way back, just to like mix things up, maybe provide a little extra luck injection. I could probably do, do a few of those today if I think about it. Of course, we won't have to do a few of those if we just get it right now. Didn't work out, but... <laughs> I had the spirit. You can't fault me for that. All right, back on home. I didn't check the forecast. I don't know if it's gonna rain tomorrow. I would like I would like a lot of rainy days in this last half of spring, just so we have more shots at the at the legend, obviously. Ooh, our first little bit of aged lava eel row. I'm so used to seeing the purple stuff from the sea from the super cucumbers. Thank you, Decay, for the more trash. Yeah, the, the the hot red stuff is uh is brand new. That's <laughs> don't know how I feel about it yet. What do you got for me? I mean, I could just sleep and then I'll just find out if it's raining tomorrow. But I'm here now. All right, fair enough. New side challenge: get 18 eggs by the end of this run. I assume you mean in the egg challenge, like in the egg festival, not like just 18 eggs. 
from like because we'd have to get like two two drops from Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star to get 18 of the white eggs anyway. But I could definitely do that. I mean, I'm going for like Fector's Challenge eventually, so what, what, how, how much harder could that be, right? Getting a tied world record? Certainly it's not that impossible. Not that outside the picture. What do you got for me? It's gonna rain tomorrow, all right. We'll have a shot, we'll have a shot. 449 from Zion, thank you very much for the support again. Let me ask you a very fair question. What do you do successfully quickly? I, you just broke my brain with that question. I don't know how to how to interpret it. What do I do successfully? I breathe. That's pretty. I'm pretty successful at breathing so far. I, I pride myself on that. On like not dying. You know, like eat, eat, breathe, sleep, all the good stuff. Otherwise, it's up to debate. Honestly. Hype for the possible legend tomorrow. Me too. And you know what I'm gonna do? I've, I said it last stream, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna commit to it uh, again this stream. I'm turning over a new leaf. We have that dish of the sea plus three fishing bonus. We're gonna use it tomorrow. Mark my words. Will it be a little bittersweet that the fact that we're like somewhat admitting defeat to the legend by by getting a fishing buff, whereas we haven't had to use fishing buffs for any of the other legendary fish? Yes. You know what? There's there's a part of me that doesn't want to, but there's also a part of me that realizes like. It's just not worth the hassle, and I'd just rather have the legend fish in my possession. And it's not like using fishing buffs is like, like it's an intended mechanic of the game, so it's like, why not, dude? Why the heck not? I'm pretty sure we still have that dish of the sea anyway. I will make sure. Happy to finally catch a stream, happy to have you here, X-Chill. Welcome, welcome. I see. Dish of the Sea, I'm pretty sure it was in here. Um, or did I trash it? I mean, we got... Maybe it's maybe it's out in this chest here. Out in the hot spring sun. Dish of the Sea, yeah, there it is. Plus three fishing. So we'll give that a go. We'll give that the old college try. The Legend is also the hardest, so I feel like it's justified. We we were going back and forth on whether the Legend was the hardest or not for a while, but I mean, it's the only one that's uh, that stumped me for an entire season. So, there's that, I suppose. Got our nice little pine forest that we gotta clear out here at some point, too. Oh, geez. Speaking of which. Look at all this. We got a little hidden muscle back here. Keep our eyes peeled for, I guess, coral as well. Argon is a Maddie. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have a friend named Maddie. She's pretty nice. Alright, what do we got here? Coconut, of course, Mega Bomb Eggplant. Come on, stop it! <laughs> I get it. It's alright, it's higher odds than normal. Yeah, don't yeah, you wave to you as well. What the hell? The disrespect from the Traveling Merchant is just unbelievable. Is Jass in here? I should, like, talk to her. Oh! I don't like this music. I, I, didn't, I didn't sign up for this. I wanted to come and talk to Jass and see, like, play with her dolls or something. You look unusually happy today. I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. The, you know, the, the music does not match the atmosphere, so don't tell, I'll tell you right now. We also had a clearance on canned beer. Marnie, come on. That's not, the, that's not the kind of support that he needs right now. I've actually been drinking sparkling water instead of beer. We get some claps in, in, chat for, in chat for Shane. Amazing. I sometimes forget that I really do have friends and people that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. Even more claps, honestly. That's, that's a... That's a hard mentality to, to shake. Got something for you. What did you get? This is really sweet. <laughs> Re real bunny jewel slippers! Oh, Pog! Oh, that's, this is the cutest scene I've... Oh my god. That was amazing. These are so expensive. How'd you afford them? 
What a guy. What a great. I love Shane's whole character arc. That was that's really co cool. Oh, another another little heart event. We haven't been to Marnie's in a while, I guess, or at least not at the right time. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said to tell you to he wants to show you something. Oh, is this uh, blue chicken time? Are we here for blue chickens? That I'll never get to have, unfortunately. Fresh eggs. Man, Shane's just, just like us, turning over a whole new leaf. That should do it. These, both, these two events both come together all the time. <laughs> Seems fitting, yeah. It's the perfect home for you hens. Best eggs in the whole valley. You want to spare some for me? Even just like one or two? I'll take it. <laughs> Please, please, a pittance for your, for your eggs. You know, Char, the chicken's name is Charlie, excuse me? Charlie Barley is actually hidden in the game, secret Easter egg? A guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair, you know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on, I know it. A chicken is definitely a... Uh, like a Disney princess sidekick waiting to happen. Did you see its face? What do I think? I think uh, I could use some of these eggs that you're producing. Like right now, please. They're special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. I won't be living here forever, and I wanted to pass something on to Jass. I've been teaching her how to care for them. Oh man, I'd love to see like a future where where Jas is like grown up and like taking care of these blue hens. That'd be so cool. Oh, thank you very much for that blade. Potentially moting the mod channel in the Discord. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, I'll t I'll 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 help you out, Jas. I'll play games with you at some point. Just gotta ask me. Shane is a Disney princess. By the way, um, I have officially, as of yesterday, I have watched Encanto. It's a, uh, it's a great movie. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. I was not disappointed by the recommendation in the slightest. Those songs are going to be stuck in my head for a long time to come, I'll tell you that much. I would say that, like, we, did, we don't talk about Bruno. That's the, like, that's the one that everyone loves from that, uh, that movie. It's not my favorite song in the movie, but it is really, really good. So I can't fault uh, anyone for that. Probably my favorite song is... It's, it's, it's got to go to either uh, Family Madrigal or uh, Surface Pressure. They're both... Oh my god. <laughs> I just fell in love with both of them. Fell in love with that whole uh, cast of characters. It's really, really cool. It's also now an emote on your Discord. I mean, that's only fair, Blade. Gale with a with a super chat, 199 super chat. Thank you so much. I have another cactus root joke for you, but you wouldn't get it. I think you might need some new material there, Gale. <laughs> it's, it's one of those jokes where it's like, you know, you say the same joke so many times in a row, and then eventually it stops being funny, and then it'll eventually it'll come back around to being funny again. But we got to give it more time. But I appreciate the support nevertheless. Uh, I appreciate the commitment to the to the joke. To be real with you. What the heck? <laughs> oh man. No. Alright, apricots are just, I guess, in abundance this season. Two apricots? You kidding me? Look at this. We have more we have the same amount of apricots as freaking apples. We have more apricots than oranges now. What did we do to deserve this game? Thank you, thank you. Double apricot. Yeah, two apricots on the same day, too. That's kind of like a, a new one. All right, so before I uh, before I call it a day here in Stardew Valley, I think it probably is wise. I don't I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the best use of greenhouse space or whatever to like because I want to farm this corn and the blue jazzes for lucky lunches. I think that is a good idea. I also want to, like, look, Lava Eel, I respect you, but we need more, we need sea cucumbers if we want, uh, if we want lucky lunches on the go. 
So we're going to have to say goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. They didn't last long, but you know what? Now we at least have two. We've doubled our, uh, our profits here. Empty the pond. Yes. Nice, fresh blue waters. Corn is multi-harvest, at least. Exactly, exactly. All right, put that away. Yeah, you don't need as much as that. Yeah, I'll need to... I'll probably... I'm not going to, like, do, like, a half and half of, like, blue jazz and corn. I'm probably going to go more, like, um... Like, two-thirds blue jazz to one-third corn. And then we'll still have, like, part of the greenhouse dedicated to ancient fruit and stuff. All right, so we can actually put three in there right off the bat. I will be tearing up the new ancient fruit patch, unfortunately. But you know what? It's fine. We got our pale ale on the go. We have, we'll have still plenty of ancient fruit to make into wine. It's not going to be a big deal. Eat the sea cucumber? I would never. Not only because it would be like a travesty, but it's also just like not good for you, I'm pretty sure. Isn't it like minus 100 energy something stupid? Just don't cook them until you get cheese seasoning. That's probably that's probably wise. Might as well get that a little extra boost. Okay, so let me see, because I, I came over here a little bit prematurely. I was just so excited. We actually need seeds and stuff to plant. Blue jazz. So we got the two jazz seeds here. We'll also go ahead, because we're gonna need a seed maker more to make to make the best of this. We also need to seed maker corn here. Not nearly as much, clearly. Like, 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 we'll have... We already have lots of corn on the go. Thank you very much, Blade. Yes, like the, like the video, like the stream, like all the stuff. Jolene Cujo, thank you for the $5 super chat. Hey, Argon Matrix, been missing the streams the past few weeks because of school. Love seeing all the progress on the farm. Here's five bucks for cat food again. I very much appreciate it. My cat is well fed. She doesn't eat that much. Like, I feel like she, had, she used to eat... Uh, she used to eat more when she was, like, growing. But, I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> now she's in her elderly years, and she's working, uh... She's, she goes through the food a lot more slowly. She's still in good health, though, so don't worry about her. I keep good tabs on her. Thank you, thank you for the support, though. Alright, so... Let's, let's go see exactly how I want to lay out the greenhouse here. I'll go ahead and put this blue jazz in the seed maker, because I know I'm going to need to do that regardless. And then we will make our way over here. Okay, so how many spots do we have here again? So this is five, because I'd like to, I might as well just leave all these fully grown ancient fruit ones just for the, that half. And then we can commit this half to our lucky lunch grind. So let's see. So we got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, plus, so 39. Wait, did I do that right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh, we have more than that. Okay, so I must have miscounted there. Uh, so 44. What if we do, like, these, like, top, hmm, because, like, corn is regrowing. I don't know how much I want to commit to, like, blue jazz versus, like, corn. I don't know what a good ratio is here. I feel like if I just do, like, like these top two rows of corn, that's probably, like, going to be more than enough. I can maybe do, like, even, I can maybe do, like, top four rows max, but I, I and then we just commit the rest to, like, blue jazz. How do we feel about that? We do like 10, 10 corn plants and then what would that be? 34 blue jazzes? Like five corn will be more than enough? I guess we don't need to commit that whole side to blue jazzes either. We could also we could also like just like do like these like a first couple patches here or something. Like we could do um not sure. I'm just trying to think because like if we go through when we go th when we eventually get to skull cavern we're probably going to be going and doing we're gonna need like one lucky lunch per day right because the buff lasts like a good while i don't think we need to go through more than one a day we already do have a sizable corn crop that's very true too garden pots with water retaining do you think we just do garden pots it might it might be better to do garden pots Instead of instead of uh, totally uprooting our greenhouse here, like because we're not gonna have kids, right? So why don't? Because like we can't have kids with Krobus. We could just like commit this whole area here to like garden pots and stuff. Like what if we just like 
That might that might be the way to do it. We can also get like renovations and add extra rooms and stuff eventually, right? Oh my gosh, Bunny Bucket, thank you for the $20 or Bunny Bucket. Thank you for the $20 super chat. That is huge. You guys are so generous to me today. Um, I've been watching the VOD since you started with the challenge, and you become my favorite Stardew content creator. That is, that is very humbling. Thank you for that. There's a lot to choose from, so uh, I'm happy to have earned that title. The streams are usually too late for me, so, but I'm glad I can catch them live this week. That's That was the plan. We've only got this stream and then the next one uh, that are staying at this uh, schedule. But I'm happy to have you here regardless. The plants are your children. Make a chest and just yeet all this trash nursery. Kids are overrated. I'm, I'm kind of with you there, Colin. You can use houses in town to host the garden pots. I could do that too. It, do, it would involve uh, a little extra going out of our way for it, as opposed to just having them on, on home in the in that ugh, sorry in our house. But it would be um, it would be good. We also don't have. We have one piece of deluxe retaining soil. Which, like, this is the one that keeps the water 100% of the time. We don't have access to make more of this until we get uh, to cheese walnut room. So we, the only reason we have any right now is because of a supply crate drop that we got. Use Caroline's garden. Caroline's greenhouse. Yeah, this is this was the reason because like otherwise we're gonna we're gonna have to be watering every, all the like all the garden pots or a bunch of the garden pots every day, because we can use, like, the quality retaining the soil. It gives a chance. But in order to, like, not just be able to, like, set it and forget it, we'd need this. Whereas with the greenhouse, we could do... We could do more. We could do better. How often do the sea cucumbers multiply? You can't use more blue jazz and corn than you have sea cucumbers. You know what? That's fair. That's, that's honestly a good point, Lisa. Hmm. What I think we could do, maybe, is we have... Use the bus stop path on the way to town. Yellow boys grow pretty fast. Yeah, I don't know what the what the rate is. Like, what's going to be the limiting factor for us as far as, uh, as, far as this plan goes? Because I could also, for now, like, we got all this ancient fruit through. I could just plant, like, blue jazz out here, right? Because it's a spring crop. We can get some that way. And then not have to worry about using the greenhouse for it. Because I feel, I feel like the greenhouse might just be the play as opposed to garden pots. At least until we get uh, access to deluxe retaining soil forever. So I think... I don't, I'm not going to commit too much time to this. I'm not going to commit too much thought. People have said that five corn plants is probably plenty. So let's go ahead and... I will sacrifice... We can always regrow this. Don't worry about it. We're going to sacrifice these five up front here for corn. Okay? And then I will sacrifice these next three rows for blue jazz. And then the rest will leave as ancient fruit for now. I know it's p probably painful to look at, but... We can, we're can we going to have lots of ancient fruit. We can always seed maker more of it if we need to. It's no big deal. No skin off my nose. I guess I didn't need to get rid of all of them right off the bat, because I I'm not I only have like four blue jazz seeds anyway. We should also probably like speed grow this stuff, right? You can just do corn outside in summer and fall and save it up. That's also true. We could, we can uh, definitely do that. Pots can be placed inside the greenhouse, but they don't get sprinklered, right? Uh, what do we need for speed grow here? Deluxe speed grow, oak resin and coral. I think I have a little bit of that. We can do that for at least the blue jazz sections here. Let's go ahead. Get ourselves some coral here. I only need one right now, one of each, because it makes five, right? We do this. Put away this iridium, these iridium bars. I don't know why they were still on me. All right, um, then we're gonna go ahead and just do, we only need five, five corn seeds. <laughs> oh, the horror looking away out. It's a travesty. I thought this was a PG-13 stream. What the heck? You're destroying ancient fruit. That's an R-rated offense. All right, we need one more seed. Am I going to beat Junimo Kart today? Not in all likelihood. I don't even know if I'm going to play Junimo Kart today, but uh, it's going to be a while yet before I even get anywhere close to beating it, I'm sure. 
All right, good enough. So now we go ahead and plant these bad boys like so. We'll go ahead and put away this last corn here. You can also grab this uh, pale ale. We might as well. There's also a li uh, the, so the soul ancient fruit up here. I forgot about. Boom. And we go ahead and pop this down. Like I said, it's nothing. Nothing about that. No, nothing about what we've done so far is like irreversible. If we change our mind about anything, we can always um, we can always change our mind. Is I guess the best way to put it. We can always change our change our tactics. Hello, Haley and Haley, and Haley. <laughs> and what the heck is going on? I just see people. Just all these people saying hi, Argon. Are you all? <laughs> are you all from the same hive mind? This happened like last stream too. It scares me. Okay, back up to the top here. So that's a that's the start of our lucky lunch farm right now. That is fine. What else do I need to maybe do today? I would like to get more crystallariums made at some point. So right now we need more. We're gonna need more gold. We're gonna need more iridium. We need more stone. Is what it really comes down to. 14 accounts raid. Everyone's just saying hi Argon. Please be please be careful and please do be mindful of spam. Yes. It's looking for DF in his 11 accounts. <laughs> All right. Um yes, yeah, so I think stone was the limiting factor for crystallariums, right? 99 stone. The battery packs also not great. We can at least make two more crystallariums, so that's probably a not a bad investment of our stone right now, at least. Might come to regret my words and my deeds, but there we go. And then someone was mentioning, as well as I think it was also mentioned uh, in chat just now, that I can use... I can, I can farm stone from like the big rocks in the mines, that's probably the best way to go about it right now. I don't know if we have another better way to do it just yet. Eventually, we can start deconstructing staircases, and that'll be the way to go. But for now, we just got to take what we can get, I guess. Okay. So tomorrow is uh, Legend Day. Let's get ready for that. Let's let's get my inventory ready just so I can just get up and go. We are going to go ahead. We don't need this or this. We don't need the fishing rod. We don't need the watering can. We don't need to water anything tomorrow. All our garden pots are retaining soiled up. I will grab a... What do we need to make a mountain warp totem? Uh, iron, hardwood, and, st and stone, of course. Stone, iron, hardwood. Do that. Mountain warp totem to get there fast. Then we'll bring a farm warp totem to get back fast. I'm going to bring the dish of the sea. For the foot for the fish buff. What else do I make? Do I need anything else for for legend fishing? I think we'll be all right tomorrow. Once you complete the community center, are you gonna put a strange bun on the witch's hut to turn on monster spawn spawning? It might not be a bad idea, so we can get some like serpents and stuff to show up here and potentially get their rare drops. Yeah. Just use mine carts, but this is like a little bit faster, right? And we need every little every little chance we can get a cork bobber. Uh, we have only the bamboo pole. We can't use bobbers or bait. Unfortunately. Bring a chest if you're catching other fish. I'll probably just, like... I, I'm not super worried about keeping any of the other fish. I'll probably just, like, catch and release or whatever. I don't think I need to worry too much about that. I'm more worried about just uh, just getting the legend there. I think this is probably fine, though. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. And tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is we're putting everything out there. We're going all in on this legendary fish. Get ready. Get ready for it. Alright, we gotta speed run the start of this. We gotta speed run our chores. We gotta speed run our garbage run. Let's do this. 
get me my triple shot espresso. I see a sunflower there. I'm going to throw that in the seed maker and hope that it doesn't screw me so that I don't have to reset the day. That would be probably bad. We got a pet Tim Beeb, of course. That is a very important start to the day. All right, grab the sunflower seeds. Maybe we don't need a seed maker, but we do because we didn't get any extra seeds from it. We don't need to check the TV for anything, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead and go just jump jump out here. Then I'll go to the mini obelisk yet. I can leave that for later. We can always pick that up on the way back home. We'll just pop this in there. I'm not, not going to. It's probably about the same amount of time to run down to the greenhouse as to run back to the mini obelisk. So let's go ahead and check this. We got the hops. All right, we can do this. I don't know if I, this. We probably we don't even need to really do this today now that I'm thinking about it because we could, it's just money so we could always like just forgo this for another day but it's fine I'm here now so I might as well get it done and once I get it done, then I can actually just probably like warp straight out of here. Actually, no, I don't want to warp out of here because I want to do the garbage cans first, lest we forget about that. That is probably the most important thing because unless I say that the legendary fish is the most important thing today, the garbage cans are always going to be the most important thing of every day because until we get the cactus fruit from those, we're going to be stuck in between a rock and a hard place. And we will have many more chances. We'll have technically unlimited chances at the legendary fish. We also have technically unlimited chances at the garbage can fruit. So I don't need to worry too much about that just yet. But I'll, oh, it's salmon berry season too. Okay, so we can get some extra salmon berries just for, just for fun. I don't, they're just on the way, so I figured I might as well do it. All right, we got the sunflower seeds. That's fine. We only got one because our sunflower, our seed makers hate us again. All right, I don't need to worry about the road. I don't need to worry about the crap pots. We just pop this in here, and then we go ahead and run into town. I will grab the, I'm not going to grab that because it's a waste of inventory space. And in fact, actually, the sandberries are also a waste of inventory space. So you know what? Get deleted uh, like that. All right, hello, Greg. Top of the morning to you. We also got forageables here. Let's go ahead and run, 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 run. And I'll take a break. <laughs> oh, man. That was me speed running for a second. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important. I missed something catastrophically important, you guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I didn't... S oh, no. Oh. How could I... I was so focused on other things. You guys. We forgot Haley's birthday. <laughs> we forgot Haley's birthday. <laughs> no. No. It was yesterday. We are too late. <laughs> oh my god. Reset, run. Reset. Haley, she's never going to forgive us. There are no mistakes. <laughs> Every. <laughs> Why is that the quote from Haley? Everything is dying. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, give her a prezi today to make up for it. I'm gonna have to. Alright, hold on. We'll get our garbage run done here first, because we're out here now. We'll get this done. We'll get a present for Haley. We'll come back. Oh my gosh. She's gonna be so upset. She's gonna be so upset. I don't care about any of this. Whatever. And then she says, I'll be thinking of you after that. She's so nice and forgiving. It's reset time. Hiro Okami with the $5 super chat. There's always the old save. Like, there is. I could technically reset to the old save to get back to Haley's birthday because you can go back one day that way. But I think it's... Uh, we're just going to have to live with that mistake. It's not... As much as I, I hate to say this, it's not a run-ruining mistake. It's just a heartbreaking mistake. We had everything set aside at, and, and all. We had we had this ready to go. Well, it's a rainy day today anyway. Maybe she'll just like like having some fruit. Maybe it's better this way. Maybe it's better. Haley is in a depression now. At least this will be our first like loved gift that we're giving to her as well. I think because we haven't been we haven't had access to any like love gift. It's all been like gifts for Haley. Haley, she all hold up in bed. I'm so sorry. Bring her some breakfast in bed. Little fruit salad is my favorite thing. Oh, it's a little bittersweet, but we did get there. Happy birthday, Haley. If even if it is belated, the weather's too horrible to get out of bed. At least it didn't rain on her birthday. That would have been upsetting.
even more so. All right. That's out of the way. I'm so that 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 hurts. That really does. It's like obviously it's not the end of the world, but it really is just it's the end of my world to an extent. We'll make up for it. We have at least the next like what, 10 years until the year 13 when we get our rare seed from the traveling cart. We have we have that much time at the very least to to make it up to her. And probably much more time beyond that, to be real. So, You better catch the legend after all this. We gotta balance it out somehow now, right? That's not a great start. Looking over at chat and missing the first uh, catch. How many hearts do you have with her? I have eight hearts with her, but like, it's the, it's the principle of the matter. So this fishing buff, buff does give us a slightly bigger bar, but I think that's literally it, so. But it, every little bit counts, so. Not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. There's a carp as well. We, we'll try not to eat this one in front of the trash bear this time. Try and make up for my folly. Did we do more trash today, by the way? Because uh, I know we were all very distraught about the Haley situation, but the show must go on. At most, this will take 12 in-game years. You're very optimistic there, Jason, but uh, <laughs> I have some bad news for you. Shorter bite time, too? I didn't know that, actually. I didn't know that the fishing level affected the, the bite time. Maybe I should have, but... Oh, y'all. <laughs> Bl Blade and Decay going for the more trash at the same time. Thankfully, the Nightbot should be able to, to recognize that and only initiate the command one time. Thank you both, though. Half a second per level. Oh! I swear, if I catch this on the very first time after, like, getting this fishing buff... Okay, that, at least that that shows that it's, the fishing buff is not, like, the be-all, end-all here. I am curious now, because people are talking about it's going to take at least 12 years, 13 years, whatever. How long do you guys surmise that this whole challenge is going to take? Bear in mind the very, like, uh, like, probably the thing that's going to, like, determine it more than anything else is if, if, is, is when we get the gift from Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star. Because we only get one chance of that per year, so if we get really unlucky with, like, a string of just not getting Marnie for that, it could go a very, very long time. And beyond that, we got the whole Skull Cavern thing to deal with. It's going to be interesting, for sure. One year in real time? I, w I honestly would not be surprised if it took more than one year of real time. I just have that nagging feeling, you know? There it is again, that funny feeling. That funny feeling of catching the legend fit. What the hell? <laughs> it was very erratic that time. What do we need Marnie for? She's the only way to get um, small white eggs for free. Because she can give you... Uh, she, that's the gift she gives you at the Feast of the Winter Star. Otherwise, there's no other way to get that. And we need at least one in order to ship it. Thankfully, she does only have like the one option for her gifts. So when we get her, we're guaranteed to get the eggs. That's the only blessing we have in that regard as far as the Winter Star goes, though. The legend is also mad you didn't get Haley a gift. It's gonna be karma coming back to bite me. The fact that we forgot Haley's birthday added just added an extra like seven years onto our cactus fruit grind.
19 years with good winter star luck, 70 plus years for bad. It, there's such a wide range that it could be. It could like go like beyond like the 50, 60, 70 year range, or it could be done much sooner than that. It really does come down to to mainly Marnie, honestly. Because the rest of it is um like the Skull Cavern and everything is very RNG dependent, but you can obviously grind through that much faster than you can Winter Star stuff. So that should be done in theory sooner, but who knows when we're going to get that uh, gift from Arnie. It could be this year, it could be next year, it could be 100 years from now. Ignore regular fish to save time on your buff. Does the buff go... Does the buff timer go down on a... How do I escape from this? Does it go down while the... Oh, it does totally go down. We're only, we only got 24 seconds left. A little bit too little too late, unfortunately, Jolene, but I appreciate the tip. That's on me. Buff timer does go down while fishing. Yeah, we're about to run out here. Zero. There it is. All right. I think we do have another buff food at home, so we can do this uh, again on the next rainy day if we have to. But we still got lots of time today, so. I'm not sweating it. This legend will be ours. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But hopefully today. Hopefully, hopefully today. <laughs> I can't wait to come back and try and catch all the legendary fish part two again. That's not required for perfection, but you know we're going to try and do it. Because this is an Argon Matrix stream. And I'm nothing if not a completionist and a perfectionist, which are two of the deadliest character traits to, to possess when it comes to video games. You put, you put some kind of, like, codex in front of me, some kind of, like, bestiary, some kind of, like... Thing that tracks how much of a thing you've collected. I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck there for the next like 700 hours trying to fill that thing out. That's just the way my brain is wired, and there's no way around it. Amphibian fossil. Don't mind if I do. Speaking of getting like, like as much like a lot of like a big collection and stuff, collecting everything. Any of you guys watched that video that uh, Wallagog posted today? About it was like the interview with um, what was his name? Algorithm. The guy who's trying to collect 999 of every stackable item in Stardew Valley. I'm not gonna lie, the idea to do something similar did cross my mind at some point in the past, but even I have my limits to an extent. <laughs> That guy is, I mean, hats off to him. That is a, that is a bold, bold challenge to undertake. And you don't like, like, like just listening to it, like on a surface level, collecting like 999 of every stackable item, it, it already sounds like insane, right? And then you start to get into like the nitty gritty of it and you realize, oh, it's actually like even worse than anyone could have expected. <laughs> With things like the tea set, and like the strange capsule, and the stone owl. Which I think he said that he's not going to go for like at least those specifically, this, the, the stone owl and the strange capsule, because... Come on. <laughs> Frugal plus 999 collection? That is actually like... Like, no. <laughs> I can't possibly. Already, with, like, the amount of uh, stuff there is to collect in the game, if you give yourself access to, like, everything that you possibly can, like, barns and coops and all the stuff that we're limiting ourselves from on this run, it already takes, like, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours. Just the idea of doing that within the rule set of, of the Prize of Perfection here. I would, I would probably die in real life before I finish that challenge. 
You should collect 990 of everything with zero skill, minimal money, and blind. You you can go for it, Gale. That's all yours. That challenge idea, that's that's a that's a lovely one. Come back to me in 200 years when you're done. 200 real years, I'll, I'll say. It's going to take a lot longer than that in Stardew Valley years. One idea I did have for, like, a potential, like, kind of mini challenge, although it's probably not as mini as I think it would be, because, like, number, number get big. You'll hear, you'll understand what I mean in a second, but, like, how much would you have to sell? Like, what, what sort of, I haven't done the math on this, it was just, like, a surface level idea that I had. How many of, like, the most expensive thing in the game would you have to sell, which I guess would be, what, like, an Iridium quality Legend 2 fish or something like that? But like probably more real realistically, like something you could farm e more easily would be like iridium quality starfruit wine. How much of that would you have to sell to get the maximum possible like money that can show up here in one sale? And is it reasonable to do it in a person's lifetime? <laughs> probably, because like isn't the like I imagine that I'm Blade. If you're still in here, you can probably confirm this. I imagine that the gold is tracked by like a 32-bit integer thing. So it can go up to like 2 billion, 1... If it's, if, it's a, if it's a bigger number, if it's like a different kind of number, a different kind of like 64-bit sign integer or whatever, then that could be even... That could be far, far worse. But if it's like the 2 billion mark... What the heck is this? No, thank you. I probably should have taken the copper to be real. If it's that 2 billion mark, then it's probably like... Very doable. At least two. Two stacks or two 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 wines. <laughs> Aging all this all the wine to iridium quality would be a major pain. Yeah, that would be the that would be that would take a while for sure. You'd have to sleep through a lot of days. It would be interesting to see it, though. It's not a good idea, since if you go over the, the, the limit, then it goes that back down to one gold. Yeah, like, it's not a good idea, obviously, for, like, if you're trying to get a lot of money to play the game. But for, like, a challenge or, like, the purposes of science, it would be just fun to see. Hundred and forty three thousand one hundred and sixty five point something legend two iridium quality for to re to hit the limit. <laughs> That's a lot of fishing. That's a lot of fishing. And you'd have to catch them all like like perfectly to get iridium quality. Probably not happening. And you probably need like somewhere somewhere around like double that amount of like the star like star fruit wine, iridium quality star fruit wine to reach the same value. It begs the question if you even if you'd even be able to sell that much in a single day, like moving between like all the different chests and stuff into the back to the shipping bin. That might be your limiting factor is how much you can even sell in a single day. Yikes. You could probably do it, I'm sure. Yeah, Legend is not being kind today. We've only had like two shots at him today. Two or three. It is what it is, unfortunately. Just our luck today. It really does come back to that uh, forgetting Haley's birthday. That's going to have a cascading effect for years to come, I'm sure of it. Four hundred sixty-four thousand eight hundred twenty-three iridium quality ancient fruit wine. Sounds about right. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily like I, like I called it a mini challenge, but it's pro probably pretty pretty mega challenge when you when you put it that way. It appears to be in thirty-two. 
So the 2.1 billion, yeah, that's what I figured. Ooh, Magma Geode. I'll take that. I don't really need this amphibian fossil. How do you get around only getting one legend per save file? Uh, with the Chi, like, family, like, legendary family quest where you catch, like, the... Oh, gosh, I, why did I pull that up? Oh, well, it's fine. When you catch, like, the, like, the Legend 2 and, like, all the, like, distant family members of the, um, of the Legendary Fish, you can get more of them. You can get multiples of them if you just do the quest multiple times, right? So, I think that's the way you do it. Although, I'm not, uh, I've never done that, so I'm not necessarily privy to, to it myself. Either way. Little sea cucumber row, that gross, like, puke green, or puke yellow, I suppose. That's not not green at all, but... Alright, off to bed we go. Timby, buddy? <laughs> Thank you, that was a little spooky for a second, but we're fine, we're fine. Yikes. Alright. When you catch the legend, eat it to flex your dominance. Oh, it's an it's another rainy day! Holy heck! Okay, we got another shot. We got another shot today. All right, let's let's get our coffee done. I didn't even check the forecast last time because I was so busy speed running. All right, do I have another luck boosting or another fishing boosting food? I thought I thought I had a trout soup somewhere. Have a look here. This is the Tom Ka soup. This is the trout soup. Okay, so we bring that with us. Then we go ahead and run out here. We'll get our we'll get our chores done again. Pop this away. I'll grab this so I can get this thing on the go here. Uh, that's the wrong machine. <laughs> what do you want? Three driftwood. And you all called me a fool for saving 67 driftwood. I knew my day would come. There we go. All right, off to the greenhouse we go. We're on our way back, Legend. Round two, baby. Let's do it. No, don't eat the hops, please. <laughs> so obviously the trout, suit's not, trout soup is not going to be as big of a buff as the uh, Dish of the Sea was. But now at least we have the intel to like skip fish while we have that buff going on. In order to maximize our time on it. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get at least, like, one or two shots at the Legend with that buff on the go. Uh, I can't say for certain. Bit of a, bit of a scuffed hops run here, but it's fine. It's all gonna work out. We're not so laser-focused on the Legend this time, so maybe he'll be more inclined to show his face. We shall see. Maybe we were just too focused on him and he got stage fright. All about those superstitions, baby. Okay. Into here you go. Uh, the carp, we will need to... We'll probably not carry it on us. I guess I guess I could probably carry it on us, because we're probably going to get another gold-quality carp at some point here, I'm sure. Should have put this in the mini shipping bin, shipping bin down there as well, but no big deal. Uh, and let's do let's go do garbages. Oh no wait, need my warp totem. I'm not gonna make another mountain warp totem because I don't want to use the stone for it. Really, we'll at least take that, and then we'll just use the mine carts to get up there fast. Chloe wants to eat hops. Don't stop her. She has had a strange proclivity towards it. I guess everyone wants to taste their own supply eventually, right? So. I would be less concerned, though, if, if Chloe wanted to eat the, uh, wanted to drink the pale ale than just, like, eat the hops straight up. Don't worry about it, Pam. It's fine. Not like I'm looking through your trash. You don't even have a trash can. Come on. Staying dry? Yeah, I got, I got my, my drying pan on my head. I'll use my handy frying pan as a drying pan. 
don't pay attention, Penny. I said don't pay attention. All right, I gotta go talk to her just to make up for it. I don't think talking to her, like, offsets the amount that you lose for digging through the garbage. But it's better than nothing. All right. Just more trash today. Just more frickin' trash. It's up to the mines we go. Down this way. Go ahead and yeet this field snack. Mewtwo Returns is a great movie. I haven't seen, like, any of the Pokemon movies. I'll be real with you. Or, like, hardly any of the Pokemon anime, either. I know some of the memes, and I know some of, like, the, the scenes from it. But, uh... Despite growing up in the right time period, it was just not, uh, not something I looked into. I think I did watch the the third movie it was. It's the one that had, like, Entei and all the unknown and stuff in it. I remember watching that at a friend's house during a sleepover one time. And for some reason, like, because one of my friends, like, there was a scene where Entei is, like, shooting some kind of, like, energy, doing some kind of move. And my friend was like, oh, this is the part where Entei shoots purple watermelons. And I'm like, purple watermelons? And then I like looked at it, and it's like, yeah, they do look like purple watermelons. And that's the only thing I remember about any of the Pokemon movies, is that Entei can make purple watermelons. Literally don't remember anything else beyond that. Have you caught the, the other legends yet? I did, Penguin, yes. In fact, this is the only one that's managed to elude us for its entire first season. The other ones we all caught in their first season. Well, I guess technically it was the second season for the Legend Fish, but like, if you can catch the... If you can catch the Legend in spring of year one, hats off to you. <laughs> I don't know how you can manage that. There would probably be some, uh, some big fishing buffs involved, I would have to guess. When you were nine, your best friend and your crush went to see Pokemon 2000 together. I'm so sorry, Royce. That's yeah. That's something. That's something that sticks with you. Those like uh, things that se might seem like insignificant or like not that big of a deal to like us as adults now when we think about it. But they're like, oh, oh, I was, <laughs> I was so focused. I'm sorry. I was so focused on the on the grind. I just accidentally clicked the button. It's all good. But yeah, those those like childhood traumas definitely stick with you more than anything else. Argon, why? <laughs> See, he he just came back for more. He, he We just needed to tease him a little bit. Now we got a, now we got his attention. After say, after like he showed up the one time, we said no thank you. Now he's coming back for seconds. He's like, wait, all of a sudden, I want to be with you? Reverse psychology? How? Blade can probably catch it in the first spring. I'm sure, like, there's definitely ways to to get your fishing to level 10 in the first spring. Or at least to get it within striking distance of level 10 to, like, get a seafoam pudding or something from the traveling cart. So you can only need to technically get to, like, level 6 or whatever. What am I doing? Although, does the traveling cart sell seafoam pudding? For some reason, that sticks in my mind is something she doesn't actually sell. I would be surprised, though. I don't think you've ever caught the legend without a lead or trap bobber. I've only caught the legend one time before myself on, like, my first ever, uh... My first ever farm. And I'm fairly certain that was with all sorts of, like, fishing nonsense. Because I definitely had the Iridium Rod. Because, like, you're a psycho not to. Case in point. Early fish ponds and just become cracked for the for the fishing experience from fish ponds. Yeah, that'd probably be the way to go. Please, please. Oh my god, please. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> this guy... He's on another level. She does sell sea of home pudding. So yeah, you could you could definitely pull that off to get to 
at least at least level six fishing in spring year one is definitely doable. Beyond that, it gets like exponentially harder to level up. So. You got the glacier with glacier fish with a bobbers or anything? Very true. A lot of people say that the glacier fish is the hardest fish. And I would say that that's probably pretty accurate. I think we got pretty lucky to get that one in our first winter. But the legend is giving us a heck of a run for our money. How do you cancel the fishing minigame? I press E. I don't know if it's different for like... I mean, obviously it's different for like Switch and stuff. There's no E button on the Switch, but... That's the button I use anyway for keyboard. B button on the Xbox. There you go. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's an option that uh, correlates on every potential platform. The only legend you've caused the mutant carp and it's by accident. Fair enough, honestly. Yeah, I'd say the legendary fish that are definitely best to start with are the um the mutant carp and the angler. They're like uh like, Stardew Noob's first legendary fish, basically. Not calling you a noob, necessarily, if you've never caught the legendary fish, obviously. Not everyone can be as cracked at the fishing minigame as I am, clearly. Humble brag, humble brag. I mean, I feel like I'm going to have, like, some room to brag about my fishing skills when uh, when we get to the end of this challenge. Because, like, yeah, it's taking me forever to catch this fish. And it's taking me forever to catch, like, some of the other fish as well. But I'm also doing it all with, like, a bamboo pole. And how many people can say that? How many people can say that they've caught every fish in the game with a bamboo pole? No, no bobbers, no bait, no nothing. I guess we could start, like, catching the fish now just for a little variety's sake because we're past our fishing buff anyway. You've hit level ten fishing, level fishing, level ten fishing in spring first uh, or spring year one, multiple times. It's not hard if all you do is fish. That's fair. But like, what time do you also? It, you also have to factor in what time do you hit um, level ten fishing? Do you hit it like on like spring twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth kind of thing? Because you still have to factor in that once you hit level ten fishing, you still need it to be a rainy day in order to get the legend. But like I said, I'm sure it's very doable if you're if you're laser focused on it. If you've never done the legendary fish though, I do think it's a fun diversion, a fun like little side challenge. Just to go for at some point. Even if you're not going for perfection, it's just like they're just there. It's They're good trophies to have. You can put them in an aquarium or something. Decorate your farm out a little bit. But I also understand this fishing minigame is not everyone's cup of tea. I really like it, personally. Simple and elegant gets the job done. And satisfying at the end of the day is what it boils down to. We can, yes, we can also, I see a couple of people mentioning it, that uh, we can get an enchantment on our fishing rod eventually. That gives us, like, a, an effective plus one fishing level. That's a little ways down the road. If we get to that point and, like, I still haven't caught the legend, the legend, then I'll, by all means, I'll definitely go for an enchantment there, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. We shall see. You caught all the fish with a bamboo pole, but you use a lot of seafoam puddings? Hey, that's still pretty impressive, Mary. Congratulations. I am envious. I wish I could be in that boat myself right now, but we're on our way. We're on our way. We'll get there. Realistically, I'm just happy that we got the night market fish uh, on our first go. Without having to reset the day at all. That's definitely a feather in my cap.
you used to hate the fishing mini game, but now it's one of your favorite things to do. It's just something so relaxing and soothing about it. it. Just scratches that like animal part of my brain, you know. You know the one. The amygdala or something or other. Man, anytime I say the word amygdala, I can't think of anything except Bloodborne and the enemies that are like called amygdalas. Those things are so freaky. If you've never played Bloodborne before, I, I like highly recommend it. You have to be into that certain kind of like Dark Souls action RPG, very difficult kind of game. Also helps if you're into like the Eldritch Horror side of things. But I think you can still have fun with it either way. I'll tell you, back before I played Bloodborne, um, I play, I play, I did play like Dark Souls and Dark Souls Two a little bit before uh, playing Bloodborne. And in those games, back when I first played them, I was definitely like a sword and board kind of guy. I would have a sword in one hand, a shield in the other. I'd block the attacks and everything. Then in Bloodborne, you get there, and there's like no shields in the game, hardly. And the ones that are there are kind of just like jokes. It's like the wooden shield, and it's like, it just doesn't do anything, basically. Because in Bloodborne, like, the your the main idea behind it is that, like, you have a gun in one hand and your main weapon in the other. And you can use the gun to, like, stagger enemies, and then, like, you, like just, like, dodge out of the way of their attacks. And that has forever transformed the way... Oops. That has forever transformed the way that I play those games. Now when I play, like, Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3 and all that stuff, I never have a shield anymore. I always am, like, dual-wielding some kind of thing or, like, two-handing my weapon. And then I just, instead of using a shield, I just roll out of the way. And I don't know if I could ever go back to the shield. I know that in Elden Ring, the shields have become, like, more viable, right? Because there's, like, uh... I mean, they've always been somewhat viable, especially, like, if you get, like, a small shield, you can use it to parry and stuff. And there's various different options there. But now, even in Elden Ring especially, there's the guard counters that you can do. I'm sure this is going over a lot of people's heads, but... Because <laughs> I don't know how... I don't know quite how the Venn diagrams of Stardew Valley and, and Dark Souls coincide, but I can't I can't imagine there's a huge overlap there. But I'm within that overlap for sure. Maybe we need a fishing outfit to bring out the legend. We did have our fishing outfit before, and that did help with the glacier fish, I think. So maybe on our next rainy day, we'll have to give that a crack. Unless we just get it in these last couple hours here, in the wee hours of the morning. We shall see. It's definitely anecdotal evidence, but I feel like the legend shows up more in the first half of the day than the second half. Like, he must just go to sleep around, like, 6 p.m. He's like an old grandpa fish. And you know what? More power to him, but also, can you, like, please bite my hook? I know there's no bait or anything to entice you on it, so it's, like, kind of amazing that any fish are biting at all. But at the same time... Come on, man. Best defense is good offense. That's the way I've been uh, conditioned now in those... In, like, the Dark Souls games and stuff. Who needs a shield when you can just kill the boss faster than it can kill you? Legends bedtime is 8.30. Alright, we might have... We still have our farm warp totem on us. So we might have one more crack of this, depending on when this fish bites. Do you receive the you expected from the uh, Skull Cavern treasure room? Yeah, it's only like... It's only five seeds. However, each of those five seeds has a 1 in 702 chance of being found in a treasure room. So, I mean, five is definitely more than enough, I think. For my uh, for my brain to handle. All right, 1 p.m. We gotta we gotta give some leeway for Tim Beeb to potentially be on our way. So let's uh, <laughs> let's make out of here. All right, we'll sell all that. Uh, I'll go ahead and keep. I want to keep like one of these, right? So we can actually give it to the trash bear for realsies this time, unless it rains again tomorrow, which I would not be uh, opposed to. Certainly not. And a wom to you too, sir. And a wom to you too. There we go. 
And off to bed we are. No check for the current time when hooking the legend. But like... What's the check for, for that one? What? <laughs> All right, well, there you go. We got a strange, strange capsule, I think. Is that what that was? That's exciting. It's not as rare as it used to be. I, I'm, I'm well aware of that, but it's still, a, it's still a momentous occasion, I think. As long as that was the thing. A strange sound was heard in the night. You don't say. Timby, go to investigate. I think I've only ever gotten one of these in my uh, in my time in Stardew Valley, and it was like post the update that uh, that made them more common. I've never had the ultra rare version of it. Is this spring seventeenth of year three? It certainly is, Blade. Why do you ask? All right, away with our fishing rod. You've you've served your purpose for the time being. Let's get the show back on the road here. This is just basic retaining soil. I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. I probably could have sold it, but, like, how much could you really possibly sell that for, right? All right, we got to go find this strange capsule. I don't know why I said it so strangely there. This strange capsule. Nothing strange, only Zool. Been so long since I've seen Ghostbusters, I don't remember what the actual quote is there. I just remember then the thing says only Zool. Because Zool is such like an unintimidating name. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead. I also do want to get my friendships up with these last few people while I'm thinking about it. Like we could we don't have to wait for these guys' birthdays. We could just like talk to them and give them stuff we want to. Poor Robin, we would have had her birthday. We would have had her on lock if we remembered her birthday. We'll see, though. Where? Oh my god, it's right there. <laughs> Hello. Look at this thing. It's just it's just here to protect our ancient fruit. It's, it's our new rare crow. Alright, so now begs the question, do we, like, pick this up, or do we let it let it sit and just, like, uh... Because, like, after, like, what, three days, it becomes a broken capsule? Something like that? Or do we pick it up and preserve its, uh, its contents? Because I think in order to leave it as, like, a, an intact capsule, we have to actually just, like, we can't, we can't display it anywhere. We'd have to put it in a chest or something. But it does look cooler as, like, an intact capsule for sure. I don't know. Leave that, up, leave that one up to you guys here. Leave it, it fits in. It's kind of like in a cool spot, honestly. It's like foreshadowing the alien rare crow that we don't have yet. Just sitting there with all the other rare crows chilling. It's like, I want to be part of the party too, guys. Yo, what if there was a chance for the, uh, for the strange capsule to like give you the alien rare crow when it opened up? Not only would that be really funny, it would also uh, save a thousand gold in the price of perfection. New 1.6 potential update, Eric Brony, are you listening? Try to put it on the table? I don't think that would work. We could give it a shot, but I kind of do like how it just like is vibing here with our with our other rare crows and stuff. I think that's just funny. You can move it, let it hatch. I think we'll let it hatch on the... Just over there. I think I'm fine with that. Okay. Go ahead and pop these away here. We'll bring our carp down to the trash bear today. We will probably start doing some actual, like, stone farming. We'll at least see how, like, viable it is to do it the, the way that I think I'm supposed to do it. and then we will proceed from there. Good morning, Jess. Won't let, go, won't let me go out after six o'clock, it's not fair. I'm not afraid of the dark anymore. That's gonna be a really funny line when we get to like year like 20 or whatever. 
and she's like a 25, she's like technically canonically like a 25 year old woman or something. I'm just like, Marnie won't let me go out after six, after six o'clock. It's not fair. <laughs> like, dang girl, you ever thought about moving out to Zuzu City? Do you, Jas and Vincent have like a canonical age at the start of Stardew Valley? I don't know if I've ever known like what their ages are. I always assume them to be like around like five or six years old, I guess. But they could definitely be uh, older than that. They're probably, honestly, like when I really think about it, they're probably closer to like eight or nine. But they just look so small. Nothing but more trash today, unfortunate. I don't know if it if it actually says anywhere in the game how old they are though. Never taking a break, Abigail. This is my work. What are you talking about? She's disrespecting my my uniform, my trash collector uniform. Chloe, the trash lady. Yeah, I feel like eight or nine is probably a, a closer estimate to where they are as far as like being taught by Penny and just like their mannerisms and their language that they use, it feels more uh, in line with an eight or nine year old. Not that I have that much experience with children of that age necessarily, it's just what my surface level intel would suggest. Alright. Wanna see me do it again? I can't do it to him. There you go, buddy. Munch on that. Yummy, yummy. I'm sorry to have uh, tempted you so much earlier. He wants a lucky lunch! What fortuitous timing! I have started a lucky lunch farm, good sir. Well, I guess uh, I guess we know... I mean, that, that's gonna work out, I guess. I, I might already have a lucky lunch, depending. One good thing about lucky lunches as well is actually that we're gonna get a lot from Krovis. Or, like, not maybe not a lot, a lot, but like more than zero. Because he has the potential to give them to you once you're, uh, once you're housemates. Please don't tell me you ate the carp instead of giving it to the trash bear. Amelia, I'm so sorry to... <laughs> if you're not caught up with the last VOD, that might be new lore for you, but... At least I made up for it now. I've made penance, okay? We're all good. Look at all these berries and stuff around here. I'm just going, uh, doing a quick round for supply crates and stuff. Lots of forgeables. What the heck? I didn't realize so many forgeables could spawn down here. <laughs> Devastated. Ooh, there is a supply crate. How about that? It's a, that's a banana pudding, I think. What the heck? <laughs> I ain't even seen Ginger Island before. What is this? All right, uh, I guess you know what? We'll trash the Joja Cola instead of adding it to our collection. Pot potentially blasphemous, but it's fine. This is actually like a pretty good food. We should pres we should preserve this for a for a rainy day potentially. Not like a literal rainy day, but. It's good to have it. Go in there. Banana pudding. Just sit out in the, you know, we don't need to refrigerate that, I'm sure. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, guys. Alright, now we go ahead and start... Figure, actually, let me check. Do I have a lucky lunch somewhere? I do have a lucky lunch. Look at that. You know what? I'm down for it. I'll bring this with me, and we'll make another trip down to the trash bear. This will make up for not giving him the carp the first time around. Now we give him two things in one day. He's going to be over the moon. How many things do you have to give him before he, like, does anything? You just got a second stone owl? Congrats, Creeper Face. I'm sure I will join you in that pantheon eventually, given the amount of time that we're going to be playing. Can you only get one stone owl and one like strange capsule per year? I know you can get multiples per like game save, obviously, but you can, I think you can only get like one per year, right? Is that true? Let's see. 
There you go, buddy. Wants a plum pudding? Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> oh my gosh. This guy's a, he's a bottomless pit. It's like my Uncle Michael. Or like me, honestly. Z will remember you throwing that Joja Cola away. <laughs> Does Z have a storied history with Joja Cola that I'm not privy to? I'm, I'm scared to find out, honestly. This will be the last one. I think we probably can do... Uh, we made plum pudding in the past. So we should be able to do it again. I think it's going to cost one of our like uh, one of our sugars to do it. We do have technically like an infinite supply of sugar, depending on our luck with, um, with supply crates, I guess. Why didn't I use the farm warp totem? That's a great question. Anyway. <laughs> Um, let's see. Can I make a plum pudding here? Plum pudding, what do you need? I need two wild plums. What the heck? Z is such a Joja fanboy. He's a bit of a sellout. To Joja, specifically. I'm not afraid to say it. I don't know I don't know what kind of uh check Mor Morris has slid him before under the table. But I think there's a there's more than meets the eye with that. What secrets are you hiding, Z? I want a video from MatPat exploring uh, <laughs> exploring Z's relationship with Jojamart. I can see the thumbnail now. Loyal fanboy or cor fanboy or corporate shill. And then in parentheses, unsurpassable Z, Jojo Jojamart uh, deep dive. Something like that. I can already feel the clicks rolling in. Z will remember that. Z doesn't pay too much attention to me. I'm not worried about it. He's been in here once before, but uh, he doesn't make a habit of coming here, so... I can say all these slanderous things that I want. I'm sure they won't make their way back to him. Oh! Yo, he's dancing. He's, did you see that little, like, jive? What the heck? Oh. I didn't know that happened. I thought he just, like, was, like, a weirdo who just wanted me to bring him stuff, but he actually is, like, a nice guy. And he flies away like a like to like Totoro. There he goes. What? Dusty! Oh my god, it's Dusty! The rare, the rare sighting. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Trash Bear. That was so precious. I've never done that before. That's awesome. Look at this. I've always felt so bad about, like, the trash down here, and now it's all nice and clean. This is, this is where you fish for, like, Iridium Krobus, right? The Iridium Krobus statue? That's so sweet. Does Dusty ever come out of his, like, pen now? Or is he still just, like, chilling there? At least it's, like, not just a run-down, ramshackle, horrible thing anymore. What am I doing? <laughs> I always forget about this. Now you can see the dog most days. He's actually out there? I'm excited for that. Alright, we don't have that much time to do, like, the, the mines and stuff like I wanted to do, but we might as well at least give it a shot. See how this stone farming thing goes. See how it works out. So we just, like, what? We can go, like, floor one. Like, what's a good floor to to farm for, like, the big stones? Like, that's probably the way to go, right? Is to, like, try and find those big rocks that you can break. And then just get, like, a bunch of stone from them. What's a good floor to do that on? Because we're not, we're obviously, this is not going to work out in our favor if we do it like this. Probably should have brought a weapon, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> floor 5. I can definitely give Floor 5 a try. 
Want to buy something? I, th I think I already bought everything I need from you, sir. Thank you, thank you, though. We just reset floor five. So, like, these rocks, like, they have a pretty good chance to, like, drop multiple stone, right? And then you just, like, you just go, like, floor 10. Well, not floor 10. I guess it would be, like, floor 15. There's the multiples of five instead. And then you go for, like, these guys. Anything that anything that's, like, nearby like that. Any of the big rocks. And then you, like... Is this right? Am I doing it, like, somewhat okay? Potentially? This doesn't look like it reset, so we might have to actually go back to, like, floor zero to, like, do a full reset. And then you go five. Yeah, that's better. And you could just go back and forth between zero and five and do that. Oops, not not that one. It's going to take a little, little bit to get into the... Uh, into the habit here. I still forgot my weapon. You're not wrong. <laughs> Let's go ahead and trade that off. Oh, this is a good little cluster right here. Yeah, so we're looking for, like, these dark gray rocks and then, like, actual, like, big boulders that we can break. I believe that's correct. That's two haunted floors. Those are like two different haunted floors. That's kind of wild. Don't really need food if we're just doing these like early levels of the mines. I appreciate you looking out though. Okay, yeah. So if we do this like a few like like every so often to add up to get more stone. This actually could add up pretty quick if we do like this from like the start of the day. It's not that bad. Maybe not the most enthralling thing to watch, but that's what I'm here for. I'm supposed to make this entertaining for you in some capacity, so uh... Laugh! I command you, laugh now! The streamer said so. Pretend I said something funny, okay? Let's everyone all get together real quick. We're gonna pretend that like, I said something funny and just get your like lulls and stuff in there and then I'll uh... I'll soak up your... I'll soak up the dopamine. Oh my gosh, thanks guys. That's oh. <laughs> Probably the best joke I've ever told. To be to be real with you. I am sorry if anyone wasn't uh, wasn't watching the stream just now. They missed it. You might think like you're watching the VOD and you're like he didn't tell a joke. That's, there's nothing there was nothing funny about what just happened. Why are people laughing? You had to be here. I'm sorry. It's one of the rare things that does not uh that does not show up in the VOD despite showing up in the stream. So unless you're here right now experiencing it, laughing along and chat with everyone else, you'll never know. Why aren't we doing the big rocks? I might just be like blind to them. Sometimes I might just like walk past them. <laughs> to be fair. Because I get so laser focused on these things. Kuro Okami, thank you for the uh, $5, $10 super chat even. Uh, so funny, Mr. Streamer Noble Gas. <laughs> I don't know how, how I feel about being called Mr. Noble Gas. Makes me think I'm like a, like a rip-off Bill Nye the Science Guy or something. But you know what? Maybe there are worse fates in life than being a rip-off Bill Nye the Science Guy. Is Bill Nye like... Is that like a boomer thing? I'm not a boomer, but like... Is it like is it like an old person thing now? Is Bill Nye not cool anymore? Do you still watch Bill Nye in school if you're in school right now? Or have you watched Bill Nye in school within the past like 10 years? Cuz we watch that dude's like videos all the time. That theme song is will be it'll be I'll be lying on my deathbed and I'll have like forgotten like everything that's hap that's happening like right now probably. But I'll still be like sit, like Leaning back when I'm 99 years old, humming to myself like, Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. That's going to be me. And I'm ready for it. I'm, I think that's a very, uh, very peaceful way to go out. All right. Um, I think we're done. Bill is surprisingly not that qualified to teach science. Oh, no. Does he not have the proper credentials? <laughs> 
Thank you for another $5 super chat, Kuro. I'm so sorry for assuming your element. What are your protons? <laughs> I love this, uh, I love this joke. That's good. Unfortunately, I don't have enough off the top of my head chemistry knowledge to keep it going. I was a good chemistry student, but, uh, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. be a beautiful sunny day. Not necessarily what I want to see, but you know what? We did have two day two rainy days in a row. So really whose fault is it for squandering that? You're in your element now, Argon. <laughs> How are there so many good like dat like funny like chemistry related puns? Like, how did it work out that way? Do chemists just have, like, that weird of a sense of humor, or did they just, like, not even notice? And, like, so many of their terms, like, can be utilized as, like, double entendres like that? That's so good. course, now that I'm trying to actually, like, think of one to, like, bring the punchline home, like a good chemistry joke, it's like I'm totally blanking. Oh, well, that's traditional argon for you. I have all these good ideas, and then, like, I think of, like, funny things to say, but I think of them at, like, 3 a.m. when, uh, I'm nowhere near streaming. You know what a funny thing to say is, um... Ooh, ooh, ah, ting tang, walla walla, bing bang. That's just like funny all the time. But also, I was looking at my analytics for my streams. Because, like, you can, like, uh, for those who might not know, who might not do YouTube or stream or anything, like, after the fact, you can, like, look at your analytics and get all sorts of different, like, statistics about things, about, like, where viewers are coming from and, like, the age of your average viewers, who's chatting most and that sort of thing, when you had the most active chatters, yada, yada, yada. That's, it's all kind of boring behind the scenes stuff for the most part. But the one thing I was looking at is on one of the most recent streams, um, I want to bring this one. One of my most recent streams, I was looking through them, and I was looking at the browse data, which is basically, it shows you, like, the top five sources that people find your stream from. Or, like, no, no, I was, I mean, I was, I did look at that, but then I was all, but the thing that caught my attention was, like, when people search on YouTube, it's, like, ha what are the search terms they're using that led them to this video more often than not? And, like, for the VODs, for the VOD I was looking at at the very least, um... The top two were, like, what you would expect. It's, like, I think number one was actually, like, Argon Matrix, which is kind of humbling and crazy to think about. Number two was Stardew Valley. I think numbers, like, four and five were, like, there was, like, Price of Perfection was in there. I was surprised to see, see anyone, like, searching for that directly, but I guess there are a few people doing that. But the third most searched term that was leading to that VOD, um, with a whopping, like, 1.6% of people getting to that VOD. Hello, Dusty, by the way. That, that is very cute to see now. A whopping 1.6% of viewers on that VOD made it there by searching Gordon Ramsay Hot Ones. And I didn't know how to interpret that. <laughs> like, I, I tried searching Gordon Ramsay Hot Ones. I didn't see any of my videos. I was very confused. <laughs> I don't know what the correlation is. I don't know how... YouTube, YouTube's algorithm arrived at that at any point in its existence. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if Gordon Ramsay was using cactus fruit in one of his Hot Ones episodes or something. <laughs> and yeah, extremely, extremely bizarre. It does work in, in peculiar ways sometimes, that YouTube algorithm. Argon collab with Gordon Ramsay when? I would love that, dude. That guy is, a uh, like, he's he's got a, definitely a harsh demeanor to him, but I think he's, like, a very, like, nice person, probably. I am, in fact, someone that Gordon Ramsay considers hot and trending. Yeah, watch, uh, Gordon Ramsay's Twitter is gonna be, like, I know I normally tweet about, uh, about culinary-related things, but have you all heard about this Price of Perfection challenge? That's a terrible accent, by the way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I 
That was more Australian than British, really. Anyway, back to the stone grind. Now do my accent? Blade, you're putting me on the spot. I'm a little scared. I'm trying to think of, like... <laughs> oh gosh, um... Let me let me give it a shot. Let me let me think here. What what, what should I say? Um. Welcome everyone to my my. <laughs> I can't do it, dude. <laughs> you got like you've got a very distinct voice in my mind. It's like we're gonna we're gonna give Haley another prissy, for and we're gonna get her up to up to eight hearts with these. It's, it's it does not work. It's 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 so Australian. It's. <laughs> I mean, it's not even Australian. It's just bad. It's just bad. I lost focus on what I was even doing. Brave man. Doing any kind of accent on stream is definitely, uh... <laughs> You're potentially stepping into some hot water there, but it's all in good fun, so... Oi, mate, that's a crocky beaver. I feel like I'm better at accents when I like actually have something to read, as opposed to trying to come up with something on the fly. You know what this means, though, Blade, is now you have to do my accent when you're on stream, so be prepared for that. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. I don't, because, like, I mean, obviously no one really considers themselves to have an accent and this is just like how I talk but obviously I have an accent compared to like other people around the world so can you do a Russian accent I'm not even gonna go there <laughs> I'm not even gonna try that one I'm definitely not nearly confident enough in my accent game to to just like go off like that on on multiple different cultures and stuff. People trying to do New Zealand accent accents tend to drift towards Aussie or South African. There's definitely there's definitely overlap there, but it's obviously its own distinct uh, distinct thing for sure. Ooh, little special slime, small glow ring. Anyway, don't respect it. I'll just say apricot over and over. You know what? Fair. You got me there. I, I walked right into that one. Apricot. I, I stand by apricot, okay? Apricot. Like, that's just too much... Like, you're opening your throat too much for that one. You're gonna strain yourself saying apricot all the time, like... Like, it's about, like, it sounds like you're about to, like, start screaming, and then you just start, and you turn it into a fruit name. It's like, apricot! Apricot? It's, it's nice, it's got a nice little, you know, twang to it. Which one do I say? I don't even remember anymore, okay? <laughs> I'm so lost in the sauce of, of the apricot debate, the apricot debate. I, I feel like I go back and forth on all of them. Ooh, look at that. I definitely I, like I definitely have gone back and forth in this during this debate of the of the whole apricot apricot pronunciation thing. I just don't know where I started or necessarily where I land. I think both are valid pronunciations to be real with you. I just don't know which one I use most often in my daily day life. Day to day life, not daily day. I don't know where that came from. But um I also don't know when I say apricot in my day-to-day -day life. Like, I feel like it's not one of those more common terms. Like, it's it's common in Stardew Valley because of this uh, this little fruit bat situation that we've been having. But I probably haven't said the word apricot or apricot outside of that context in at least over, like, a year, I would think. I don't know. I can't imagine where else I would have said it. The next debate is praline and pecan. I definitely say pecan. I know people say pecan. I don't know what the different pronunciation for praline would be. 
Praline? That that can't be right. There's no way anyone says praline. Or pray pray line, maybe? I have no idea. I've always I've always ever only heard it as praline. You love pecan pie? I'm not a huge fan of pecans, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie to you guys. They're like okay, like I'll eat them. But like if I had the choice, I'd be like, I'll take the water, thanks. Praline? You say praline? Praline? Pr who? I need to pause. Because multiple people are telling me praline. Wh where does the A come from? Pra what? <laughs> like, okay. There's, there's probably a precedent there. Of, of, like, words that end in, like, an E that you'd, like, pronounce with, like, an A at the end of them. I'm trying to think of one right now, but I can't. But, like, no. It's just, maybe, like, where does the word praline originate from? Praline. Like, I would think there would be, like, an accent aigu on top of the, uh, on top of the E, if that was the case. If it was, like, a French word or something like that. What are we even talking about? The most important uh, topic that's ever been discussed on any stream? Pronunciation. Everyone's favorite. Let's just get it all out there. You got, like, praline, apparently. You got pecan. You got apricot. You got bagel. I know the common thing is, like, uh, people will say, like, oh, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. I can't tell you a single time I've heard someone call it a tomato or a potato. Especially not a potato. What the heck is a potato? Maybe it just like, is a different accent or something that I'm just not uh, aware of. Like tomato, I can kind of see. I think like I maybe have heard like some uh, some British British people say tomato, but potato. It sounds like you just like forgot how to speak. Sounds like you're learning English for the first time. Not to be offensive, but it's just... <laughs> potato. Come on. We're all adults here, right? You say... You say tomato? Or do you say tomato? It's hard to tell when you just spell the word tomato. <laughs> Genshin Impact? Is there a different way to pronounce Genshin that I'm not aware of? Probably. Or don't tell me that impact is pronounced differently. Is it center or center? It depends on the context. This this one's a spelling one, so it's harder to articulate through streaming. Through like the audiovisual means that you're listening to right now. But like center R E versus E R are two different things in my mind. Like center E R is like the center of a circle or the center of anything really like the middle is what you think of whereas like center re is us is uh is more specific in that it's used for like like a recreational center like a place where you go to do something to do an activity but you can also i think correct me if i'm wrong on this you sh you can use um the center as in like the middle some some centers like recreational centers do use that spelling and that's fine, but you can't really use the RE spelling for the middle of something. I think that's the way it works. I could very well be wrong on that, though. That's one of the ones I've never been fully... It's never been fully locked in my brain, I suppose. Acacia? I think that's just one that's, like, hard to, like, tell how to pronounce just by looking at it, but I'm pretty sure it's Acacia. No one better come in here telling me, hey, you're, you're, you're saying that wrong, it's Acacia? It's Acacia tree? At that point, it's like, that's a bannable offense right there. The closest you've ever heard to tomato is tomatillo. That's fair, honestly, when I think of, like, tomatillo, because I don't say, like, tomato, tomatillo. 
someone said tomato to me, I'd be like, and a, and a good tomato to you as well, sir. I'd assume it's like some kind of weird foreign greeting in the language they made up, just to make me confused. What is a tomatillo? Is it the same as like a grape tomato? It's because it's like it's just like a little tomato, right? But it's like a, like a grape or cherry tomato, something like that. Is it just, is it just the same thing, just a different term for it, or is it something else entirely? It's akashe or akashia. Don't do this to me, Jelly. <laughs> Man, so this is how people like this is this is why people buy stone in this game, huh? Because like no one wants to do this <laughs> for many days in a row to get all the stone and stuff they need. This is definitely one of the things I did not consider when I was uh, setting up the price of perfection challenge. I thought about all the ways that I could save money. That I didn't think about whether I should save money by doing this. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have fun here. Either way. Green tomatoes? Are tomatillos specifically green? Because I know what you mean. I know I've seen those before, like the little green tomatoes. I guess maybe that's yeah, that kind of makes sense then if those are specifically tomatillos. How do you pronounce Mojang? I say Mojang. People sometimes say Mojang. But I don't know what the actual official pronunciation of it is. Could you zoom out? I could, but I've grown so used to playing on this zoom that, like, playing on anything else gives me, like, vertigo. Like... Yeah, it just... it I can't take it, man. It, it just starts hurting my eyes. For it's it's hard to explain, but I know it probably looks like way too zoomed in for a lot of people. But this is just the way I've uh, grown accustomed to playing it. What is Mr. Chi's name? You just heard it. You heard it here first. Any cactus fruit? Just stopping by between classes. None yet. Chaos stripe. I appreciate you coming by though. We're just right now we're farming for stone. So you're not you're really like probably better off in class at this point. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to keep the stream afloat through this these trying times of farming nothing but stone. <laughs> Thankfully you do this does actually go fairly quick. Like we like we've got up to like four hundred stone today. Which is a whole four crystallariums. <laughs> I don't know how many crystallariums I'm really going to realistically want. But I think this is a good stopping point for this. Let's bring some stuff back with us. would be foolish not to. Nope. Leave that one there. I always got to remember that. All right, good stuff. You can only play on max zoom and, and default zoom. Everything else bugs you. That's fair, honestly. Like, the two extremes that way. Or, well, I guess the default zoom is not an extreme. It's, like, because you can zoom in further than this. But that would be, like, crazy. Um, am I selling anything here? I'll probably just keep all this. It's fine. So many rice shoots that I'm probably, like, never going to use. I don't know why I'm holding on to them, but uh, here we are. And sell this one. I'm pretty sure Sea Cucumber Row is not very lucrative, but it's better than nothing. Should be able to get some more Crystal Aries on the go tomorrow. Looking forward to it. What's the stone count? I will find out post-haste. I'll find out today. You have a legit pronunciation question. Hold on. I'm all about legit questions. Do you have, do you have trouble... Do people have trouble pronouncing Chipotle? 
There was that old Jack, Jack in the Box commercial where he was all like, Chipiti Chipotle. I, I don't, I'm not familiar with this uh, commercial, Royce. I've always said Chipotle, and I've never heard anyone say otherwise, so hopefully I'm not uh, alone in that boat. Why sea cucumbers in the fish pond? Because we want to make, uh, we want to have a good supply of lucky lunches when we eventually get to the Skull Cavern. And in order to make those, you need sea cucumber. So we're going to go ahead and farm up some of them for right now. So, like, we're not actually here for, like, any of their produce. It's just kind of a nice byproduct. We're just here for, like, when they get to 10 and we can, like, fish out one at a time kind of thing. I guess I don't really need to keep this beer. All right, how much iridium do I actually have? So let's look. Iridium, so we got 562 stone. We got uh, some more iridium to smelt. Got a little bit of copper bars. Actually, we only have enough for like two crystal iridiums as far as the, the gold bars go. Not copper bars, I meant to say gold bars. Didn't I need copper for some... Oh, you know what? I totally forgot about this. I needed copper for a cheese maker, right? One copper bar, 10 hardwood, 45 stone, and 45 wood. I should do that. I should, because I need at least, I, I only really need the one cheese maker. But I do need a cheese maker. Cheese press. Forgive me. Pop all that in there. Pop these away. This too. Because the reason we need a cheese press here, I'll go ahead and throw it up here, I guess, with the mayonnaise machine. The very seldom used machines over there. We wanted to, last stream, we were clearing out this chest a little bit, this goat milk. So we shipped one goat milk. This goat milk is the second one that we need in order to make into goat cheese instead of buying goat cheese from the traveling car because that would be more expensive, obviously. Let me just make sure. So like goat milk, yeah, we shipped one before. And so we just need to make this into goat cheese and then ship that. A gift for Shane's birthday. Is it Shane's birthday today? I thought Shane had a different birthday. 20th of spring. Oh, he did, you're talking about the beer. You know what? That would have been a good call, honestly. <laughs> it's no big deal. I'm not going to worry too much more about birthdays going forward, just because like we are max hearts with most people here. And we'll focus on just the ones that we still need to get, uh, get hearts up with. So like 4th of summer, 19th of summer, or the spring. And then Robin is when? She's in the fall, so it's mostly like summer and fall and stuff. And mostly summer, actually. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Don't forget to hydrate, good call, Nightbot. I'll go ahead and pop this in the cheese maker, the cheese press, while I uh, hydrate for a moment. Hello there, Zipporah. I see you coming in. Don't forget to water Timby. I got you. Hydrating myself? I might as well hydrate Timby while I'm at it. He's waiting so patiently over here. Look at him. So precious, buddy. Alright. Ooh, we got the blue jazz. Okay, so those are grown, so we can go back and seed maker those to expand our plot here. And that speed grow actually like ex exponentially sped things up there. What'd that take? Like six, five, six days for the blue jazz to grow? Not too shabby at all. I never thought I'd be in a position in, in Stardew Valley where I'd be actively growing blue jazz, but here we are. How many people do you think go out of their way to grow specifically the blue jazz in their greenhouse for, like, a good reason to, like, make lucky lunches like this? I can't imagine the number is very high. I should probably bring the seed makers, like, closer here, huh? Just, like, have them, like, right near the greenhouse. Probably the play. Uh, we'll make- we need to make our way down to the traveling cart eventually anyway, so we'll go through there to collect those. Alright, so I would like more 
speed grow probably for these seven seeds. Man, four flowers, seven seeds. That's not a great return on investment. I'll say that right now. All right, let's do it. So I think I have, uh, like, the speed grow should still be down from when we first grew the first batch here. That's five, six, seven. I think we actually have still some more in the chest, so use that too for our next batch. Yeah, a little bit there. And then real quick, we'll bring the seed makers down just because they don't really need to be in this exact spot. Having them closer to the greenhouse is going to be behoove us better, I think. Flowers are so annoying. Wow. <laughs> I know the amount of flowers that you need, like, uh, like obviously, like, here, let's do it like this. This is probably, maybe not the best. This is going to be a little silly. It's also going to hurt to do, like, uh, probably need to make one more seed maker for symmetry's sake, just because. Just it's a little bit harder to get to the door now, but that's fine. And you know what? I should not put that there so I don't ac accidentally block off my... So I don't, don't block off my mini shipping bin. Uh, what's the better way to do this? You know what? Put the seed makers... Not here. This is foolhardy. I like that better. And then we'll just, like, it's not the greatest, but we'll just throw them down here. That's fine. I am A-OK -okay with that. Yeah, the flowers are very annoying to grow just because of how many different qualities and different colors you can get. Just have it, you have to like have a whole chest just do dedicated to storing only flowers, and even then, it's like you probably won't have enough for all the different varieties of flower that there are, which is kind of hilarious, but at the same time, also a big pain. Probably need to keep better tabs on these mahogany trees, to be real with you. I always forget that they're, like, up here, and then I come back and see, and it's like, oh, yeah, we got some hardwood to harvest. I'll take it. There we go. Only got two mahogany seeds out of the deal. I might need to start leaving more stumps around again. ahead and get some tree fertilizer down. I should probably just make like a like a nice little supply of tree fertilizer just to have on hand. Let's make like I'll make like 20. That's fine. Pop this in here. Pop this in here. Use this tree fertilizer. And we're well on our way. Flower honey. Yeah, flower honey is honestly like it's not maybe not like the most profitable of things, but it's honestly just like a fun little addition. I like being like a little beekeeper in Stardew Valley. I think it's kind of cool. Don't really need this copper axe on me, or maybe I should bring it. I mean, we we can always go and chop down the the trees on the south of our farm later. We don't need to bring that axe exactly right now. Right now, I'm more focused on the traveling cart. Exclamation point cart, just to see what we need. We'll see if we uh, get lucky today. Tim Beeb's protecting our trees down here. It's getting a little, <laughs> a little dense down here. I definitely do think I need to clear this out sooner rather than later, so I can use that uh, space more efficiently, prob probably. If you drank as much coffee as Chloe, you'd be dead. Yeah, Chloe is not. Uh, her her heart is not going to be thanking her after all this espresso. I'll say that much. All right. Red mullet, cave carrots, wild plum, poppy seeds, tulip, caviar. Ooh, caviar. We'll need to do that eventually, too. Get some sturgeon roe on the go. No luck this time, though. That's the way the cookie crumbles. All right, let's do a little, let's mix it up this time. Like like I said at the start of the stream, someone did say maybe try some like reverse garbage can searches, start at JoJo, work our way back. Let's give it a try, you know? 
It's a little bit of extra work, a few extra steps to put in, but maybe that's what the cactus fruit demands of us. Only one way to find out, right? Today is opposite day. Let's do it. All right. Could you imagine if, like, after, like, all that time, I did the reverse cactus fruit shirts and I got it on, like, the first garbage can up at Joja there? Then we would have been wondering, like, all this time, have we been wasting our efforts in doing it the wrong way? Dusty not hanging out there today, but that's fine. Uh, I was hoping I could get, get there before Abigail saw me. At least it gave time for uh, Sam to walk away, and he won't see us when we do this. Eat. No luck. Just more dang trash today. I'll say a decent day for fishing. Sir, it's not raining, there's not a cloud in the sky. Don't tempt me with these false promises. What are the chances of getting cracked cactus fruit from trash? Um, there was like, I don't know, because like there was a lot of a uh, discussion between Blade and some of the members of the Discord in the Price of Perfection channel in the Discord. Exclamation point Discord. <laughs> um, about that stuff. I didn't look through all of it, and I don't know if the actual odds are in there. But uh, there's definitely, that's the place to look if you're interested in finding out more about that. I don't know the odds off the top of my head. Alright, yeah, so let's not do, we did a lot of stone farming yesterday. Obviously we don't need a lot of wood, but we do need to clear these trees down here. And I'm also going to bring my scythe actually so I can clear out some of that grass that's been growing wild here. All right, let's like, let's nip some of these in the bud. We don't need all these trees like growing wild here. Let's get this on the side here because this definitely does not need to be here. Same chance for the sandfish you got. Yeah, that's what I gathered too from the uh, the discussion there, Chance, in the Discord. Is that basically like, the way I figure that it works for the trash is that whenever... It's it's determined at the start of the day, so that's that's a very important note as well. Is that because like on the wiki it says it, the chance for items from trash is determined by daily luck, but it's predetermined at the very start of the day, so we can't actually use like luck buffing foods to give ourselves a better chance. That's just not how it works, unfortunately. So we're just it's tied to the daily luck. So lucky days are technically better for us to check the trash, but there's no reason not to check the trash on unlucky days. So it's just it's just a numbers game. Um, but then when you do get an item in the trash can, it can be either a very, like, general item, like a general trash item, or it can be drawn from a specific pool that is basically tied to either the building or to a certain unlock for trash cans. There's various different things that get added to the trash can pools when you complete certain tasks. So you, when you hit the bottom of the mines, you can start getting like gemstones in trash cans. The important one for us is that once you complete the vault bundles, you can start getting desert related items in the trash cans, namely the sandfish, the scorpion carp, cactus fruit, and coconuts. And so whenever it's, uh, I, th I like, I think the way this works, this, I could be wrong on this, is that when determining an item for the trash, it ch first chooses one of those it first chooses whether there's an item, and then if there is an item, then it d decides on which, like, pool to draw from. And then it picks, like, one of those pools, and then you get an item from that pool, basically. Is that the way it goes? I mean, I don't... I, I'm probably... I'm probably more knowledgeable about that than most people in chat right now, so... I should be the one answering the question, to be fair. So yeah, when we got that sandfish, it technically could have been a cactus fruit. But like resetting the day or something would not have changed the fact that it was a sandfish. Thought the trash was seeded or something. It is like seeded, but it's also like... Because like the luck is also seeded, right? Like you can't like reset the day and get different luck for the day. So it's like tied to that, but it's like... It's like sort of like pseudo seeded, I guess. Or Argon got to update his trash count. Is there no? Are there no mods in there today that did it for me? I can do that. 
More trash. Good catch, y'all. Thank you, thank you. And if a mod did do it and I just wasn't didn't notice it, then uh, we just won't have to do one tomorrow then. So many trees, dude. <laughs> I like that Tim B came down here to keep us company for this. Very sweet of you, Tim B. Very sweet indeed. You know, the whole challenge was see so I can get it done in five years. So the five years figure, I've been over this a few times. Maybe I should add this to the to the FAQ as well. Because a lot of these I do feel like I'm repeating myself, but that's no fault of, of you, the question askers. It's, uh... Just the nature of the stream, obviously, because there's a lot of information to go over. But the five years figure comes from the fact that I asked Blade to help me find a seed for the challenge. Should be fine. That would allow me to get... Actually, it was like his idea. I was just like, I only wanted the seed. The only thing I wanted seeded, to be real with you, when I first approached Blade about it, was... um. The remix bundles, the certain combination of remix bundles that I needed to for the challenge to be possible. Then he d he said, "Hey, do you want me to make it so that the traveling cart is not going to be like super painful? Because like obviously the traveling cart, it's like random items, but also random prices. So in order to get like a perfect item co price combination, it is very luck dependent and dependent on the seed as well. So he made it so that those all those items from the traveling cart will appear within the first five years." But that's the only thing that's determined within the first five years. As far as, like, the cactus route goes, that was not taken into consideration. Marnie's Winter Star Gift was not taken into consideration. Skull Cavern Treasure Rooms are not seated, but they're also not taken into consideration. So. Got a little goat cheese here, by the way. This might not seem like an important thing. It's just kind of offhanded. But uh, we are shipping goat cheese. That's the only goat cheese we're ever going to ship. The only thing that we need goat cheese for, I'm pretty sure. Don't you need goat cheese for a recipe or something? This is one of those things I always think. Like, I, I think it's one of those things that I think of, and it's like, you need goat cheese to cook a recipe, and then I look it up, and you don't actually need it. Let me let me do that right now. I'm going to look it up on the wiki, because this is important to me to know. Goat. Goat cheese. Let's see. Goat cheese is not required for any recipes. Okay. Thank goodness. I thought there was, like, maybe a goat cheese salad or something silly in this game. Only cow cheese. Yeah, which we will be able to get in abundance from the Desert Trader, so that's fine. There we go. Done and dusted. How'd you beat me up here, Tim Bead? You sly little rascal. All right. We're good to go, right? I did actually shift the cheese. I didn't, like, eat it or something silly. Why? <laughs> I'm so paranoid about this. I need to check this, though, just because, like, for my own peace of mind. Okay, it's in there. It's in there. Just to make sure, because we only get one shot of that goat cheese. And it's very easy to do, but it's, like, also, like, if you mess it up in some stupid way, then, like, that's a, that's a big deal. Okay. Price of Perfection is more complicated than Fortnite lore. Fortnite's not one of those games that I think about having lore very much, but I guess it does. Like, it must, obviously. There's the goat cheese. The only one we're ever gonna ship. Love to see it. Alright. Got some more coffee down here. Don't mind if I do. Need to get some casks inside here so I can start actually making some of that stuff. Uh, am I crazy? What am, what am I doing? Oh gosh, I just went... I did go crazy for a second. What do I need for casks again? Kegs, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, the oak resin, iron, copper, wood. So we need to probably get more copper. That might be on the table today. Can I check the forecast yet? Rainy day tomorrow. we love to see it. It's also a traveling cart day, so that's going to eat into our legend fishing time a little bit. 
but there's nothing we can really do about that. Wool. Have I shipped wool yet? I have not. The only way we get wool is from Emily, so we might as well ship this one, just so we have that taken care of. We can always get more from her later if we need it for more things, but that's all uh, sort sorted out now. Yeah, thankfully we don't have to rely on garbage cans for coconuts as well. That is a, a very nice saving grace from Ginger Island there. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to make some crystallariums here. I think I can only make two with all the resources that I have here. What am I missing? Battery pack. And boop, boop. Yeah, because we don't have enough gold bars for the next one. Go ahead and smelt some iridium here. Grab these. You know what? I'm, also, I'm actually not going to put two in there. I, it might It's going to waste like a little bit of efficiency, but I'd rather like have all these crystallariums pop at the same time. So I'll just wait for like these crystallariums that I got on the go to pop, and then I'll refill them all at the same time. That just helps my my brain more instead of having to see them all like going off at different times. Have you shipped cloth? I don't think I... I don't know if I have shipped cloth yet. But, like, cloth is also not a very difficult resource for us to come by. Because I think Emily can both mail you cloth, and also you can get cloth from, uh... Recycling machines, which is what we have been doing for the most part. We already got a lot of cloth in reserve still. In actually, I don't know, if we, don't know if we have much cloth in reserve anymore, because we did use a lot of it to, like, actually make clothes and stuff. Heaven forbid we have a little bit of fun with our cloth, but <laughs> it's there for a reason. What else do you even use cloth for in this game? You can use it to, like, make a mill, I think. Beyond that, I don't really know. Our little alien friend is still incubating down there. These ancient fruit uh, seeds are also getting pretty close to fruition. I guess I should be filling out the rest of that field. I just kind of started making more ancient fruit wine without even, like, thinking about it. But I should actually be seed, ma seed makering more of the stuff. It's fine. Not a big deal. How's the clam collection going? The clam collection has been halted a little bit by the fact that we're not actually checking crab pots anymore. So it's going to sit at 57 for the foreseeable future. So that's fine. Um, garbage cans. Let's go. Have fun and do fashion? Ridiculous. That's the other thing that you can put in a game that will, like, definitely catch my attention and make me very, like, irrationally focused on it. The one thing I mentioned before, obviously, like, the collect collect-a-thon aspect of the games. The other thing is cosmetics. If you have any kind of, like, clothing alternatives or... or out, like collectible outfits like if you if you combine the two and make like like a full like outfit collection that you can strive for then count me in need monsters you want me to kill a squid a single squid kid probably not gonna happen but it's the thought that counts and I don't know what it is either maybe this is just me but um, whenever there's, like, fashion choices in a game, right? There, there's usually also, like, a choice of, like, uh, what kind of character you play as. Whether you play as, like, a male or a female character. And the fashion choices between them are usually different. I mean, in more in recent days, obviously, it's become more commonplace to let anyone of any gender wear any kind of clothes that they want in the games. Which is, like, I'm all for that. That's, uh, that's, that's huge. Shouldn't, should definitely not be limited by gender. That doesn't make any sense. Um... But the girls, the the female outfits, the the ones that are like geared more towards like a like a female body type and that sort of thing, they're always so much better than the ones that are geared towards a male body type. I don't know if that's just like because I, that's just the way my brain works, and I like that like like cute, pretty stuff, like the elegant stuff a lot more. And not to say that there can't be like cute, pretty, elegant like male clothes and that sort of thing, but. Uh, it just definitely stands out more when it's um, 
And it's like pretty dresses and skirts and things. I just love that aesthetic, I guess. A single salmon bear you shouldn't have. Alright, let's go mine some copper, I guess. The resource grinding never stops. It truly never does. Why is there a single piece of driftwood in here? And also, like, we don't need to keep this bread. Let's be real. Get in here with the rest of your driftwood brethren. That's why I prefer to make male characters in feminine clothes. Hey, I'm all for that, yeah. Just the female clothing options. Also, like, female hair options. Always, I guess maybe I just like how girls look, which, I mean, is not that surprising, considering I'm, like, attracted to girls. But, you know, maybe it's not that starting of a re startling of a revelation. But it's just amazing how, like... How much of a difference there is in my in my brain when it comes to like that sort of thing in games. Alright, uh let's go 420. Try and do a little bit of uh stone farming on the side, I suppose. Might as well. While we're here, it'll slow down our co our uh, coal gathering, or sorry, our copper gathering a little bit. Wasn't there... I, th I thought, like, Clint wanted us to get, like, copper ores or something. He always does, but I guess not at this exact juncture. <laughs> Women are great, quoted from a lesbian. Respect that. I went all the way out of my way for those three rocks there, but we got some coal and some copper out of it, so you know what? Who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? Yeah, Chloe's trash can is very feminine. She's she's rocking it. You can't deny it. She'll be walking down the catwalk at uh I don't know what what's a what's a fashion place, the Met? <laughs> that's that's definitely that's nef definitely not a fashion place, I don't think. Or is it? I don't even know. I'm so out. I'm so far removed from that world in my real life that it's like I have no chance of coming up with a with an actual reference there. Paris Fashion Week. There you go. That's the punchline I was looking for. Do you think if there's someone, like, at, like if someone actually dressed up as a trash can for, like, Paris Fashion Week or something, do you think they could get away with that? Do you think they could pass it off as, like, the new avant-garde look of the season? I guess it would depend who it came from, right? Like, what designer? Like, it could be, like, the trolliest designer of all time, and they just, like, want to use, but they also, like, have, are, like, respected, and they just want to use their influence to make people, like, wear something silly. It's like a whole Emperor's New Clothes kind of thing. The real question, though, is would you then see it for, like, for sale at La Senza or something? Probably not. <laughs> Usually those sorts of, uh, those sorts of outfits, those sort of off-the-wall catwalk-style outfits don't always make it, uh, to, to the mainstream. Not gonna find that at your local Gap. Ooh, red mushroom. Mushrooms are kind of rare in, on our farm, because we didn't take the mushroom cave, so it's a little harder to come by, but the fruit cave was definitely the play. I would never dispute otherwise. Leap a lot would buy it. <laughs> he, could, he would probably make his own, honestly. Make his own little cosplay of the trash can. Love to see that. There you go, sir. I've already given the dwarf two gifts. What's a third, though? What, why, why, why we gotta limit it? Why can't you let me be generous, game? Come on. So rude, so rude. What are your thoughts on Crocs, the shoe? I don't really have a 
have necessarily like strong opinions on the Crocs. I do think they like are kind of comfortable. Like the one time that I wore them. I don't know if like I would wear them on a day to day. Do people like wear Crocs like normally just like out? Like to go shopping or whatever? I feel like it's a very specific sort of shoe. But I don't know what the specific occasion to wear it would be. So maybe it is just like an all day, everyday kind of shoe. Also, Crocs and socks, definitely not the look. I'll say that right now. Not a fan of that. It's kind of like I'm sure it's. I'm sure there's definitely some comfort to be mined from that, but definitely just also stands out to me is also like you shop at Walmart exclusively when you wear that. And you know what? I mean, no, no offense meant to that. Walmart, it has some good stuff. I shop there on occasion myself, but you gotta admit, you gotta admit it's got a little bit of a, of a stigma associated with it. That was a good rock floor at the very least. Ooh, and a little bit of copper on the side. Don't mind if I do. You have a croc collection? That's kind of cool. I actually know like a, a strangely like disproportionate amount of people who collect shoes. My mom, like, has a shoe collection. My sister has a shoe collection. One of my friends at work has a shoe collection. It's kind of nuts. It's not one of those things that I normally think of, like, collecting. Like, I think of shoes as very pragmatic things. Like, I I use them to protect my feet. I don't think about the, like, a, like a fashion statement. Although I don't think about that with, like, most of my clothes, to be fair. I don't usually, like take into account, like, like combining, like, the right look of pants with the proper shirt. I'm like, ooh, what are, are these sleeves too short for this outfit? Am I gonna be able to pull this off? Is this form-fitting? That's not what goes through my head. I'm like, will this, like, cover my body and keep me warm? Alright, good in my book. <laughs> and that's about the extent of it when I get dressed in the morning. I just don't have the brain power to, like, commit that much uh, energy to, to wanting to look good. Which, I mean, it's fault. It's a folly of mine, honestly. It's my own kind of fault. Because I do think that there is, um, I didn't used to think this. I used to think that, like, people who committed, like, so much time to, like, how they look and everything. Like, people who'd, like, spend three hours a day on their hair or whatever else. Um, I used to think that was, like, a big waste of time. Like, no one, no one cares. That's that. That was the way. That was the way I thought. I've definitely come around to realize the error of my ways on that one, though. If you like, if you care about like your appearance, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, and I should care about my appearance more, to be quite frank. Um, we're not gonna keep this dwarf scroll. It's not really. It sells for one gold, and it's also not a very good gift for anybody. The dwarf we can get better gifts for. So, like, caring about your personal appearance is honestly like kind of kind of goaded in this day and age. And if you, like, put in, like, a lot of effort to make it look like you put in no effort to looking good, I have all the more respect for you at this point in my life. I'm like, dang. You got you got your stuff figured out if you're actually, like, taking good care of yourself and that sort of stuff. The fact that I don't is, is almost... is more reflective of my bad habits that I've carried throughout my life where I don't uh, need to, where I don't like feel like I think that highly of myself a lot of the time. So it's like, why should I take the effort to look good if like no one's even gonna like spare me a second thought anyway, right? And I think that's where that uh, thought always came from in my mind. But now that I've like been to therapy and stuff, <laughs> not to get too real with it, but uh, I've come to realize that you know what, self care like that is important, even if it's not like for your own survival necessarily and it's more and it's actually just for like to feel good about yourself about how the, about the way you look and everything then that's um there's definitely a lot of importance there as far as like mental health and everything goes especially sorry i haven't looked at chat in the past like <laughs> like 10 minutes i swear i've just been going off on like these little tirades these little rants let me catch up for a second the whole thing about people who spend that long in their appearance is like they do care about their appearance and that makes it worth it. Exactly, yeah. Honestly, it's it's um 
like hats off to them. They know what they like, they know what they want, and they just they do it. They they're willing to take the time. It's like how I'm willing to take the time right now to commit all this time to an endeavor in a video game that a lot of people would be like, why do you spend hundreds of hours of your life on something that has no tangible benefit to you as a person? And I mean, obviously there's arguments to be made there too, like, does this actually have tangible benefits to me as a person? Yes, because I like stream it out there and I get like ad revenue and stuff. Oh, I also should actually look up, did I miss any like uh, super chats or anything? It doesn't look like it. I think we're good. There's obviously um, things that way, but by and large I do this because it's like, I just like it and it's fun and it's uh, personally fulfilling to me. And obviously those, what's personally fulfilling to one person might be totally meaningless to another person, but that doesn't uh, devalue in any capacity. It shouldn't anyway. If you ever get a webcam, I'll compliment your outfit every stream. Thank you, Karita. I don't foresee myself getting a getting a webcam or a face cam in the near future at any point, but it's good to know that I'll have people on my side if I ever do. Sometimes you have to look good for self-confidence. I'm with you. I'm with you. That is another thing for me is that like I I would like to put probably a little more effort into my appearance than I than I do currently, but also like I don't tie that much of my self worth or my self confidence to my appearance, and that's just like a quirk of mine. That's not that's not me saying that like it has no value to anyone at all ever. Obviously, different strokes for different folks is what it really boils down to. At the end of the day. It is kind of funny how I, like, talk about all this stuff, like, I don't care that much about my appearance. And then, who's my favorite Stardew Valley NPC? Frickin' Haley. Like, what? Are you insane? <laughs> Are you two different people living in one brain? What is what is going on there? And to that, I don't have an answer for you, other than, like, Haley's kind of pretty. And I like her character arc, so. <laughs> That's all it boils down to. I just like her, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Thank you very much there for the super chat, Zion. Let me do a little bit of mining real quick before I go and read what you got to say there. You wouldn't believe it, I went to the desert and there were like five cactus fruit. Turns out it's not as rare as we thought. Oh man. All this time? You're tell Wait, you're telling me that all this time I could just go to the desert and get cactus fruit? Guys, I thought that you could only get cactus fruit from trash cans. We've been living a lie, let's just go. In reality, though, if I was doing, like, this challenge, like, if this was, like, a, a sort of challenge where you could do it, like, in real life, I would absolutely walk to that desert to save the 500 gold for the bus fare. If that was an option for me here, if I could, like, spend, like, time, like, multiple days, like, bring a tent or something out and have uh, Chloe go on a little hike to the to the desert, that would be so much more fun than than what we're currently doing. All right, let's make our way back home. That was a good uh, stone run today, too, honestly. Not even just copper. All right, let's bring back a bunch of the important stuff here. Fiber, hardwood. Uh, I'll leave these gems, honestly, out there, but they're good gifts for the dwarf, so we'll leave a few, here, a few out here. Bring back these mushrooms, why not? And a little sap, just for the fans. Perfect Haley quote, what'd she say? You look pretty today. <laughs> she always comes in at the exact right time with those quotes, I swear to God. I don't know how she does it. It's like she's watching the stream or something. Uh, oh yeah, I'm dumb. There we go. Uh, we can actually get some copper smelting here. We might as well get that going before bed. 
provided Timbeep doesn't block me too much on the on the way in here. Real quick, do one of these, pop, pop, and we're good to go. Tim Beep up there, he's in the chi in the kid's room! That's kind of sweet, that's kind of precious. He is our little, like, fur baby. Pam is going to spend that 500 gold on beer, don't be an enabler. You gotta wonder who else is taking that bus. Like, I know Emily takes it on, like, on, like, uh, Sandy's birthday, right? But I don't ever see anyone else take that, other than like in Sam's heart event or something. So precious. Alright, rainy day. Rainy day number three of the stream. Let's do this. Will we have another one tomorrow? That could be like clutch. Nope. Alright, we gotta make the most of this opportunity while we have it. Let's let's figure this out. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's get our jades put away. I will gather these here. A little bit of copper ore for the road as well. We'll deal with that a little later on. I'm going to go ahead. I don't need the hoe or the pickaxe right now. We'll grab the... We don't need the watering can, actually, because the the rain is going to fill Tim Beeb's bowl. Whether that's good for him or not, it depends on the ecosystem of the valley, I suppose. Um, We don't have any more fishing buffs, I'm pretty sure. We already used the ones that we had. Oh, wait. Fish taco? Ooh, uh, we should actually look into, like, potentially making more fishing buffs, too. Now that we're actually, like, in this world. What do you need to make a dish of the sea? Dish of the sea. Where art thou? Is that you? It's two sardines and hash browns. We can make hash browns, right? A potato and oil. Do we have any extra potatoes? And then, moreover, do we have sardines? We might not have the sardines. I don't know, because I probably didn't keep any sardines, huh? Well, that's fine. It's something to keep in mind for the future, though. Do I have any potatoes is the real question. I do have 13 potatoes, so we could make some hash browns. Fish tacos are very expensive. Fish, fish tacos need, like, mayonnaise or something, right? Have a quick look. We could look at trout soup as well. Just, just, so, we know, just so we know what our options are here. What about seafoam pudding? Uh, we could get some squid ink if we go and, like, kill some squid kids and stuff. And flounder and midnight carp. I think we have some of those, because we need to make one of these eventually anyway. Uh, where was fish taco? Fish taco. Tuna, tortilla, red cabbage, and mayonnaise. Probably not happening. Not for a little while. Don't forget the farm totem. I got you, Lily. Don't worry about it. Where was trout soup? A rainbow trout and three algae. Where do you fish rainbow trout again? Either way, we're just going to go with the fish taco for this uh, excursion. And we'll be fine with that. We're going to have to be. Something to consider if we don't get the legend today, though, for sure. Alright, let's do a um, little greenhouse run. Then we got to do traveling cart run. And then garbage run, and then the rest of the day is ours. On these legend days, I probably really should forego this, uh, the whole greenhouse. Just to give myself a little bit more extra time, because you never know when those, like, one or two extra casts are gonna actually affect you, right? But we gotta put in the work. We gotta, we gotta realize that, uh, the farm's not gonna run itself, right? Alright, let's go ahead and pop this in here. It's a little late to get started on some new ancient seeds, but, uh, better late than never, as they say. Alright, down we'll go. Go ahead and pop this in here, might as well. We'll worry about that honey at a later time. Also worry about that at a later time. I'd rather focus on the traveling merchant. Maybe it'll give it a chance for that, uh, the maple syrup and the honey machines to get, or the bee, <laughs> honey machines, the bee houses to get resynchronized anyway. Oh, I forgot the farm totem. I forgot the farm totem. Shoot, shoot, shoot. If I had been any, like, closer to the traveling cart, I might have, like, just not even gone back for this, but I feel like it's probably important. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's, like, a tree in the way there or something. Or maybe I just closed the gate on myself now I'm thinking about it. Alright. 
Farm totem. Wasting so much time. Big yikes, big yikes. You got this, Noble Gas Matrix. Thank you, thank you. Need all the luck and support I can get in these trying times. Mtagoof is providing great moral support when we're fishing up there, but uh, he can only do so much. Alright. What do we got here? Bok choy seeds. Insulting. Duck egg. I don't. I think exclamation point cart. I think seven hundred is too expensive for a duck egg. I also. We might have already gotten both the duck eggs that we need. Large egg though at three hundred eighty. Did we already got a large white egg? I'm pretty sure. Rare seed at five at a thousand. I think we're looking for a large brown egg. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've already shipped the large white egg. So that's taken care of. Nightbot is sleeping on the exclamation point cart. <laughs> Alright, we need a duck. We do we do still need one duck egg for 285, and then none of these other things are even in there, so. But uh, the duck egg was not 285, it was 700, so. Rip. Yeah, we got one duck egg, but not the duck mayo yet. That's what we're waiting on. Thank you, Creatrix. I don't think Nightbot is as used to being on YouTube as it is on Twitch, because, like, when you use a Nightbot command on Twitch, it's, like, instantaneous, the, re the result. YouTube's API must be, like, something wacky that Nightbot has to navigate through. It's like, it's like going, th going, like, through the Twitch API is, like, uh, the equivalent of just, like, hopping over a little puddle. And navigating the YouTube API is like swimming the Nile River or something. The difference of night and day for Nightbot. Don't mind me, Penny. Don't mind me. I said don't mind me. How dare you. There we go. Yet more trash out of the way. Got any mods in chat for some more trash? Alright, let's make the most of this fishing buff while we got it. Let's not skip past any of the uh, potential legend encounters like we did last time. 11 a.m., not a great time to get out here, but it's better than nothing. Alright. Fish taco, give it to me. Sort out my inventory just so I'm not, uh, like, looking at that empty space the entire time. Thank you, Decay. Let's do this. How long does this last? Seven minutes? We can make that work. Man, my stomach's like grumbling. I had a big lunch before my stream, and that, that normally uh, tides me over, but I am getting kind of hungry. I don't know if I did anything extra energy intensive today. Should be the opposite. I haven't even done my workout today. I'm saving that for, for after the stream. Because I just didn't have time this morning, really. Thank you very much, Extra Sims. Watching the VODs. Surprised you're on. <laughs> it is a different time than I'm normally on. That's fair. But I'm glad you're enjoying the VODs so far. And happy that you were able to tune in live for a little bit here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Time for snacks. I might need to take a quick uh, a quick break here before we get into the last hour of the stream. We'll see. What's your workout routine? Right now, as as uh, hilarious as it might sound, I actually use um, I got I got the game this game a while ago for like Christmas or something. I use a uh, fitness boxing on the Switch. And I use, like, the daily workout for that. It's probably not the best. Like, like obviously, there are better ways to get, like, a workout. But I think it works pretty well for me. I always feel it after the fact. And it seems to... It's, like, just a fun and easy way to, to get my workout in for the day. I'll probably change things up, like, once... If I want to get more serious about working out. But just for, like, my own, like, body maintenance. Like, I'm not trying to get, like, jacked or anything here. I'm just trying to, like, not die by the age of 70 or something. 
boxing is fun though. I yeah, I really like it honestly. It's uh it, it is a workout for sure for me. Yeah, I would recommend it if you're uh if you're not the type who likes to like go out to the gym or like gets intimidated by that sort of thing. If you just want to like stay home, you have a switch and you you have the uh you have the money for it. It's just like uh and it's it's pretty customizable too, the fitness boxing thing. Like you you can decide like what you want to work on, whether you want to do like upper body, lower body, whatever, full body. Maintenance if you're trying if you're, or if you're trying to just go like if you're trying to go harder. Uh, you can also hold on a second. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be talking about like fitness boxing in the middle of a, of the clip where I catch the legend. That would be kind of funny though. One second here. It's it's giving me a run for my money. It's a little bit more lackadaisical than usual, but hopefully that I didn't just tempt fate. I feel like I might have. Yep. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> um. Yeah, the length of the workouts in that uh, game is also very customizable. I usually just do like a half hour one, but you can like do some, you can do a lot more than that. And you don't have to just stick to the daily workout. You can do like as much as you want, really. That was our best attempt at the legend so far this stream. I will say that there was a part of me that was beginning to believe. Like Neo in the Matrix, he's beginning to believe. But then it all came crashing down. GG, well played to the legend, indeed. And then I go ahead and miss the <laughs> exclamation point when I'm looking at chat. Legend is not a boxing fan. I don't know, maybe it was, because it was like, after I stopped talking about it, that's when it started to get a little more, like, unruly, right? Maybe I need to talk about anything other than fishing when I'm actually catching the legend, and then that'll be uh, that'll be the time that he decides to show up and stick around. Oh, I didn't wear my fishing outfit. I was I should have swapped out for like the sailor hat or something. Maybe that's why we're not having that much luck. Is like because the legend like. Bite, bites on, and he's, like, getting ready to, like, be reeled in. He's got a little, like, fishy smile on his face. And then as soon as he, like, crests the, the surface of the water, he sees who's reeling him in and that they're dressed as a literal garbage can. And then he, re like, redoubles his efforts to escape. Because he's like, I don't want to be with a person who would dress like that. They're literally calling me trash to my face. And you know what, Legend? I, I, I respect your self-esteem. But also get in my damn backpack, you sussy fish. What was your school like? It was honestly, for the most part, like, pretty chill. My school experience was... I, I'd like to say that I was, like, part of, like, the, like, the group of, like, nerds or geeks or whatever. But in reality, I flew almost entirely under the radar for all my school experience, which I'm honestly fine with. There is something to be said about having missed out on, like, some formative experiences, like going to parties and whatever else, meeting up with more friends. I did have a few close friends in, in school. Um, we've all sort of, like, grown apart at this point in our lives, but we did have some fun times. I went to, like, their birthday parties and stuff, and that was about the, about the extent of that. But by and large, I was a, I was a teacher's pet more than anything. Like, I, the, the thing I remember most about my, my high school years, especially, is just all my cool teachers. Like, that's, that's, like, those four years of my life blurred into just, like, doing, like, school projects for my cool teachers and, like, having fun with them and, uh, obsessing over my crush and ultimately getting rejected. <laughs> those, those are the two things that always just stick out in my brain for, for that, that part of my life. My Spanish teacher especially, she was, she, like, really liked me and I really liked her. We had a good dynamic. I think it especially helped that I was, like, the only person who was, like, in that class and was actually, like, doing the work. Like, because so many people saw, I think they, they just saw Spanish as, like, an elective that you could, like, get an easy A in, more or less. And then they just slacked off for a lot of it. 
Whereas I was actually like kind of more committed to to learning. My Spanish teacher definitely respected that. We had like a, I remember there was like an awards ceremony or something at the end of one of the years where like the people who got like the highest grades in every subject for our uh for our year would get like a little honors award and they like go down in front of the they go down in front of like everyone else in the auditorium and receive an award from like the teacher of that class and like they'd be like smile for a little photo op or something. And it was good. I got two I ended up getting two of those awards. I got uh the highest grade in physics. I tied for the highest grade in physics. And then I got the highest grade in Spanish. And when I uh when I went down to receive my award from my Spanish teacher, um she like uh she like gave me this smile and like she like opened up her arms and like oh we're we're going in for a hug. And we were the only only two like student teacher combo that like hugged during that award ceremony. And everyone in the auditorium was of course like, Oh, that's so sweet. It was kinda nice though. It was kind of kind of just like a cute little moment that always sticks in my head. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Like if you can be friends with your teacher like that, then it's uh it makes the whole school experience a whole lot more tenable in my mind, a whole lot more manageable. Rip fish taco, yeah, didn't didn't serve its purpose very well. Oh, address spinner, thank you. I'll get a lot of use out of that. Slash S. Legend doesn't like your Spanish teacher, only likes boxing. <laughs> we'll have to test out that theory. I, I don't have much to say more about boxing other than that I like do the fitness boxing routine, though. Like, boxing is a sport. Like, I know a lot of people uh, in my personal life who like uh, like boxing and stuff. Just to watch and everything, but never been my cup of tea. Nice when you can get along with your teachers. Absolutely, yeah. There's nothing worse than ha than going to a class and having like an antagonistic relationship with your teacher. I've never been in that uh, situation personally. Thankfully, I've always had at least decent teachers, and I've never tried to get on their bad side or done anything to get on their bad side, really. So it's always been pretty chill. Luckily for me, I know not everyone is in the same boat there. Sometimes, even if you are like a good student, sometimes you actually just have like a like a real jerk of a teacher, and that can be very disheartening for sure. Was absent-mindedly singing but walking between classes. I never sang, but I would always have like a tune going through my head. Let me know if this is like a weird thing, by the way. Um, does anyone else have pretty much like a hundred percent of the time, like? throughout their day, no matter what you're doing or what you're focused on, you'll have just a song stuck in your head at all times. It's not the same song, like it changes from day to day or even like throughout the day for me, but I can't, I can't honestly tell you of a time where there wasn't some form of music going through my head. And I don't, I usually don't end up vocalizing it unless I'm like by myself or something, or like in the shower or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> pretty normal. Yeah, that's fair. It's just like, I can't even imagine, like, what, what would life be like if, like, I didn't have some, like, background music inside of my brain at all times? Like, if it was just, like, silent in there? As you might expect, like, I'm sure your next qu some of your next question might be like, well, if you have a song stuck in your head at all times, what song's stuck in your head right now? And it shouldn't be that surprising, considering that I mentioned, uh, that I watched Encanto for the first time yesterday, that I got La Family Madrigal stuck in my head. It's got such a catchy tune. It's so good. Constant radio in your head, it never stops. Yeah, that's how I feel. It's always the worst when you have a song stuck in your head that, too, that you, like, don't remember the full lyrics to, so you just keep repeating the same part over and over and over again. 
I've heard that you can fix that a little bit. Like, if you just got, like, something stuck in your head and you can't remember the rest of it, just, like, go listen to the song, and sometimes that, like, gets it out of your head. That seems to work for me on occasion. Which it makes sense. I guess, like, it's like when it's something stuck in your head like that, it could be a sign of your brain trying to... trying to put all the pieces together and try to remember something that it likes like that. And so giving it a reminder by, like, watching the actual song or listening to it or whatever can be, uh... Helpful in that regard. Thank you very much, Contrell. Thank you for tuning in to the to the stream to let me know about that. That you're uh, that my no level ability is one of your all-time favorites. I put a lot of effort into it, a lot of thought, a lot of heart into it. I gotta give it one more try, one more college try here. But yeah, I really appreciate you coming in to say that. Of course I get driftwood at the very end. <laughs> That's just rude. Alright. No legend today. Say la vie. It's the way things go. Alright, we don't need to save any more carps. Alright. forgot about this honey that's still out here. Sugar all honey honey. You are my candy girl. The legend runs free for another day. We're getting close to the end of this season too, so I don't know. Unless uh, we could get a bad, bad luck of uh, a bad, bad string of non-rainy days, we might be uh, not looking at like the best spot. Tim Beep sleeping on the stairs. That does not look comfortable, my guy. But you know what? You do you. You do you. Were you popular in school? Not in the slightest. <laughs> And I'm, you know what, I'm all the happier for it, I think. I just would not have been, uh, been comfortable being, like, popular in school, I don't think. That is not my bag, baby. And we already know that one of the days of spring is guaranteed to not be raining, because it's the flower dance coming up in a couple. It means that we got the next two days for sure not raining. Because I think the flower dance is the 24th, right? Thank you, Caroline. Little free cauliflower money. Alright, let me go ahead and drink on up here. Don't forget to hydrate. You make a good call, Nightbot. I'm actually going to go ahead and before I get uh, two started, or two on with uh, my chores and everything for today, I am going to take a quick break. We got about an hour left in the stream. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little drink of water, maybe a little snack, something to eat, then we'll see what these frickin' sea cucumbers want, and uh, proceed from there. I'll be right back, y'all.
Sorry to hear that you're sick, Zabora. I'm, uh, hopefully I can be your comfort streamer for the next hour or so, help you get through a little bit of that. Otherwise, uh, feel better. I hope you feel better soon. Alright, let me pop back into Stardew Valley here. Thank you all for waiting, for enjoying the, the saloon break. Hopefully you didn't give, uh, the saloon workers too hard of a time. Why am I clicked off the window here? What the heck is going on? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, let's get things under control now. I did unmute myself, right? Let me just make sure of that. I did. Knowing me, I could, like, spend uh, the next ten minutes talking about, like, I don't know, fruit roll-ups or something. And then look over and chat and be like, is he, like, talking? I can't hear him. Real talk, though, fruit roll-ups are kind of a great snack. I haven't had one in a long time. I used to have a lot of fruit by the foot. You'd like two clams, please? Thankfully, I have a big clam collection over here. This is not a big deal. There you go, my friends. The fish seem happy, you don't say. Never seen a sea cucumber jump like that in my life. Oh, I forgot about this. Single ancient seed. And that strange capsule is, like, taking its time. I thought it was, like, I thought that thing, like, uh, broke out of there in, like, three days or something. But it's been around here for a hot minute. You were jealous of the roll-ups from your kids in primary school? Yeah, honestly, it was kind of like a snack. It was like a premium snack, for sure. It's not something that I got, like, packed in my lunch every day at school. But it definitely, uh, was a nice treat when I did. My mom did like to spoil me every now and again with that sort of stuff. I have her to blame for my sweet tooth, I swear. <laughs> she has quite the sweet tooth herself. She makes a lot of, like, baked goods and stuff. I don't do a lot of baking myself. I'd probably like to more. The one thing I do bake uh, pretty much every year around the holidays, around Christmas time, is um, they're called um, Mountain Dew Apple Dumplings. And I know, like, I know what you're thinking. It's like, Mountain Dew in a dessert? Ugh, ugh, I'm throwing up in my mouth right now. How dare you, streamer? I'm eating. Gross. But just trust me. Just trust me. When you, like, cook it and it's, like, good, it's, like, it's good. Like, like there's a reason I make them every year, and it's kind of a tradition for our household to do it. It's, uh, it's a very good dessert. Look up the recipe if you uh, are so inclined. I would definitely recommend it. Am I forgetting something today? I don't think so. I think we're all right to just do our garbage run. Rebecca Sp Re Re Rebesca Pades. I thought it said Rebecca Spades, but it's Rebesca Pades. That's, that's much more clever. Thank you for the $4 and the little cute gift there. Appreciate it. The support is very, very appreciated. Thank you all so much for uh, supporting the stream, either monetarily like that, or just by being here, just by watching, liking the stream. I appreciate all of it. Every day. Every day. There's not a day that goes by where I don't think about that. Hello, Radioactive Blaze. Welcome. What do we got here? Invasive species of crab. Demetrius wants us to slay five of the... Five of the crabs. We could probably do that, honestly, because we we need to do the the rock crab eradication goal at some point, anyway. So, you make them every year. They're so good and easy. You also make Mountain Dew apple dumplings, or did I miss your first uh, <laughs> message there? But either way, yeah, they are very easy to make, which is probably why they're the one thing that I'm like committed to making because it like doesn't really take that much effort. The hardest thing to do is, like, chop up the apples. And that's, like, really nothing. Just more trash today. Wah wah. At least we got this cool newspaper out of the deal. Maybe a little extra silk on the side. I don't mind. I don't mind. You missed the notice board? You're totally right. I didn't, I like, wait, no, no, this is, this is right. I got, uh, the, the Slay Monsters thing. 
or oh, I missed the. I got. I get what you mean. Like the special orders notice board. Thank you, Creatrix. Never had Marmite. I have also never had Marmite. What is Marmite? What's it like made of? And is it the same as Vegemite? Because I know Vegemite has a pretty bad rap for being like, um, like a gross food out of Australia. I think like something that's not very, very good for a lot of people. A lot of people don't like it. Batch or two. Do we have like enough potatoes to make like that much potato juice, or do I have to actually grow the potatoes myself? Keg a few potatoes and collect 12 batches. So we don't have to grow the potatoes, we just have to put them in kegs. I remember seeing that we had some potatoes. But I don't know if we want to, like, use all our potatoes for that specifically. Marmite and Vegemite are all yeast extract. It's not, not, it doesn't not make it sound the most appetizing for sure. Uh, Lil Sport Draken. Thank you for the uh, 50 sec SEK super chat. I'm not sure what that currency is, but I appreciate it. Have a good night to you as well. Thank you for tuning in for a little bit. And again, thank you for the uh, support and the generosity. What was I doing? I was gonna. I was thinking of something. Oh, the potatoes. The potato juice. That's right. We have 13 potatoes, so we could make 12 of these into potato juice. And then save one for like a seed maker. This is not like a bad, like even if like we seed maker this and it becomes mixed seeds or something, we can get more potatoes from mixed seeds themselves. So let's just do this. Just let's get this quest out of the way. Pam has been requesting it a few times. Why? Why not? So we'll go ahead and keg these bad boys. We'll have to make. Oh, there's one keg up here that somehow got missed. Then we'll go ahead and these are all being used. We'll just go ahead and pop that in there for right now. Doesn't sound appealing. Potato juice or Vegemite? Probably both, to be real with you. I don't know I don't know how good potato juice is going to be, but if Pam wants it, Pam gets what Pam wants, I guess. I thought you have to grow the potatoes? I don't believe so. I think we just checked that, but I'll double check it to be sure. Um... Keg a few potatoes and collect 12 batches. Place the product in Pam's kitchen. So I don't think growing comes into play anywhere there. Unless I'm misreading it. Howdy there, Zelos. Thank you for dropping in. Always good to see you. Good to see a familiar uh, face from the old guard. As it were. Alright, what am I doing today? I probably need still more copper and stuff. Actually, I, I should go. I should go mining for gold. I think there's gold in them there hills. If that's the case, I'm probably gonna want to bring some actual food for that part of the mines, that deep side of the mines. A lot of American chocolate isn't great. I don't really pay that much attention to where my chocolate is from, but I would I would firmly believe if you told me it to be true. That, like, most of the best chocolate comes from Europe. That just sounds right in my head. Uh, floor 81, I think, is good for, for gold mining. These guys, I thought, I think those guys can drop gold from time to time, so... Not the worst idea. Also a little bit of stone. I forgot that my pickaxe sucks for these floors, so it's gonna be a little touch and go here. I did the cactus fruit math the best I could for the wiki. If the game decides to get you anything, the average chance of getting a cactus fruit in a garbage can is 1 in 54. That sounds, like, pretty accurate, but I think it's only, like, it's 1 in 54 if the garbage can contains an item, period, right? Because, like, by and large, the, the most likely outcome is that the garbage can just doesn't contain anything at all. Otherwise, we would have gotten the cactus fruit, like, many times over by this point. Statistically speaking, anyway. Need to find the rock crabs, too. Good point, good point. I should keep an eye out for the uh, the magma crabs, for sure. Get some extra bat wings out of here for um, monster musk, as well. Never hurts. Ooh, that's nice. 
Don't I have a monster eradication goal for you guys as well? And for, I mean, I have one for slimes, I know that for sure. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, get out of here. I wasn't a fan of that situation. Go ahead and hold on to, to these, just so we know how much we collect of both. Yeah, but I don't know the chance of that. No worries, Flop Snail. I appreciate you uh, going out of your way to do the math on the wiki regardless. That's something that's so cool about this Prize of Perfection challenge is that it is such, like, uh, there's so much to it and so many different, like, aspects of it that, like, everyone in the community can, like, get involved if they want to in some way and can, like, contribute in some small way, like, by doing, like, little bits of math like that or, like, I mean, you can, like, provide fan art, obviously. That's always a fun little community thing to do. You can... There's, there's so many different ways to go about it, and if you, like, want to do, like, your own price perfection thing, maybe you'll discover something that we're not privy to. It's, like, I never considered how big of a, like, community endeavor it could be until I started actually streaming it. If I was doing this, like, recording offline or something, it would be so much, like, worse. Probably, like, a worse experience for me, and probably also a worse, uh, end product, because there would be so many things that, like... Like, there's so much that goes into perfection, obviously, that I would be like, I, th I would think I have all my bases covered, and then I'd upload the video or something at the very end, and I'd have so many people being like, actually, you forgot this, that, this, that, this, that, and everything. By the way, you don't need a copper axe, you dummy. I don't know if anyone would say that, because that's a very niche thing that we only discovered by virtue of the stream itself, but um, I digress. As I always and often do. Nightbot gave the other bot a warning. Nightbot doesn't know how to do anything different. I don't think... I, I don't actually know if I can, like, set up Nightbot to, like, ban anyone. I think the worst it can do is give timeouts. But, I mean, that's, that's fine. for Because that's, like, all you really need to do. Just to hide it. Just to hide those bots. Is all, all you just need to time out their messages. And that's about uh, the extent of what we even can do. You can hide this user on this channel. I know that that's a thing that we can do uh, with our own mod powers, but Nightbot does not have that capability, or at least not that I've seen. Ooh. There we go. It looks like Decay, actually. Like, I didn't know you were able to do that, like, after, like, Nightbot had, like, hidden a message that's, like, uh, you could, like, st still, like, ban that user from the chat. That's good to know, actually. Very, very nice indeed. Ooh, a little gold pocket here. You would think that gold would be, like, rarer than it is, but I guess it's just, like, that is deep in the mines so that makes it, uh, harder to come by. Just took that bat to the face. <laughs> Probably not the best idea, but I got the expendable HP right now. Might as well check this out. I actually see more gold over there, so it might be worth our while to go out of the way for this. Little magma geode never hurt either. It is so snowy outside today. Like if I could like show you like like a live view of what I'm seeing outside of my window, it's actually like apocalyptic out there. It's freaking me out, dude. It's one of those things where it's like, uh, like I can still see the blue sky just beyond the, like, the clouds. Like, there's, like, a little bit of blue sky out there, but it's also just, like, like, everything else beyond that blue sky is just, like, white. It's just a total whiteout out there, except for, like, that par patch of clear sky, which is such a strange sight. I don't, my, my brain is, pro is struggling to process it. Very weird. I don't even think it's that cold out from, uh, from the forecast, but... Just windy and snowy. Thank you. Uh, we don't have inventory space for any of this stuff, but we don't really need any of it either, to be fair. I haven't seen snow in ages. I do definitely take it for granted that I live in a spot, I live in an area of the world where it snows, like, not 
like year round, obviously, but it snows every winter at least. Didn't mean to do that, but uh, it is what it is. We got lots of espresso at home. Because snow definitely does have like a sort of ethereal beauty to it. It's just that I can get a little jaded to that beauty sometimes when I'm like driving down the down the highway and can only see literally like five feet in front of my car because it's so dang snowy. And then you got to go at like half the speed limit because you're driving across black ice the entire way. Definitely puts a bit of a damper on things on the whole, you know, winter wonderland experience, but... But there's definitely something to be said about the whole hall like Hallmark Christmas vibe as well. You know, like I've been in that position where it's like you have just like a nice snowy day out and you like you go out, you got uh, your like best friend Jennifer Lawrence or something, one of those like <laughs> actors who looks good in like everything and just like they they're wearing like a fancy little toque and uh and a scarf or something, and they just look, like, perfect, and they're going out in, like, this very light, gentle snowfall, no wind or anything, making a snowman for, a uh, for a Hallmark music video. I've had days like that, for sure. There are, like, these pictures of, like, me and my sister when we were younger. Um, we went out into, like, the backyard when it was, like, we were, like, knee-deep in snow. I'll go grab that diamond. Like, knee-deep in snow, and we, we were wearing, like, shorts and t-shirts. And we were, like, making snowmen. And I'm like, man, we were, like, weird kids. I don't think we were out there for very long. I think we probably, like, made the snowman. We got, like, dressed up like that for a little photo op, because it would be funny. And then we, like, went back inside. Because I can't imagine we were out there making the snowman with, like, our bare hands like that. That's, like... <laughs> that's just asking for frostbite or something. Ooh, a strange bun. I think I already have a few of these at home, but another one never hurts. When you have to shovel the driveway and once you're done, it's filled five minutes later. Oh, just Canadian things. It's so true. Yeah, I am up in Canada. That's the that's that's the main uh, culprit for all these snow-related tangents, for sure. How many other countries are there that have like a lot of snow? Like, obviously, there's gonna be some European countries that get a lot of snow during their winters. I gotta be careful here. HP is getting a little sketchy. Like, there are definitely a lot of European countries that have that northern climate, but I don't know how uh I don't know how it differs compared to our Canadian winters. To be real with you. I don't know whether they're harsher or milder or about the same. Probably just depends. Uh, this is not a good spot to be in. Okay, we're good. Sir? Sir? Personal space! Please, thank you. Right, there's a crab down here, too. There we go. How many crabs is that? Three out of five? Three out of five lava crabs. Might as well go for it if we got the opportunity. Uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. And we can probably make one more dive here for for some more resources. We actually got a lot of a lot of gold ore out of this. I mean we need five gold bars per crystallarium. So it's not going to go, like, the longest way, but it's better than nothing. Austria can be very snowy. Antarctica. You know what? Fair. I don't know how many people are uh, making their vacation homes in, in, in Antarctica, but it does bear mentioning, I suppose. All right, let me go ahead and sort things out here. What else do I need to bring? I'll bring the seeds. I'll bring these both back. Why not? And we'll bring this nice little horseradish. Maybe a birthday gift for Krovis at some point, who knows. Tasmania gets snowy on occasion, too? That's not one I would have guessed, for sure, but good to know. Yeah, we're 
keeping this for our buddy. Good old buddy Krobus. We, we already forgot Haley's birthday. We can't possibly forget Krobus's as well. That would just... Oh, there'd be riots. Riots in the streets and justified ones, too. Coal is also looking a little low today, but that's all right. We can go kill some dust sprites tomorrow if we want to. Oh, man. So little time, so much to do. All right. Go through our little jade hallway real quick. Good night, Tim Bead. And off we go to bed. Northern Norway can get pretty wild here. It's right in the name, I guess. Norway. The Northern Way. It's like they call Winnipeg Winterpeg. Never been to Winnipeg, though. We forgot Haley's? Yeah, we forgot Haley's birthday, unfortunately, this stream. That was unfortunate. Have I completed the Dust Sprite Monster Hunter thing? I have. That's why we got this uh, burglar's ring here. It has been a huge help to us. All right, that's more like it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These sunflower seeds were being very stingy, very stingy indeed, but we finally got that taken care of. I'll plant another one just uh, so we have a little bit of extra leeway there. But I don't think I need any more than that necessarily. Perfect weather for the flower dance. You don't say, you don't say. All right, we can go ahead and pop. I guess we don't pop the sunflower in there. We will pop the coffee beans in there though. Extra kick in the morning here as well. Okay. So many things. Oh my gosh. Oh, the dwarf gadget. That's actually like pretty good. But I think we need to. Do we still need to donate one to the museum. But we all we'll also need a second one for crafting the farm computer, right? Eventually, we don't necessarily need to do that right now, and it's probably better off to just, like, donate it. And if you tell me that I can put the dwarf gadget in a crystallarium to duplicate it, I'm about to lose my mind. Probably not. It's an artifact, not a mineral. These are both new. The star shards are also very new. I think the, I think the star shards are actually like, the second most profitable um, mineral that you can put in a crystallarium next to a diamond. Oh. I did, I'm doing the crab pots for some reason. Don't, just muscle memory kicked in, I guess, for uh, for a second here. Yeah, that's fine. For old time's sake. Sarah Jane Smith, thank you very much for the super chat there. PhD meeting now, wishing you legend luck. Thank you very much. We, we're going to need more luck for, uh, for more rainy days this season than anything. But if we do, I'm glad. We, if we do get the rainy days, then I'll, happy, I'll be happy to know that you're on my side. Thank you very much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. All right. Off to the greenhouse. Also, PhD meeting. That sounds, like, intense. <laughs> sounds above my pay grade, I'll tell you that much. I don't even know what that entails. I get so, like... So, like, intimidated when I think about all the different, like, degrees and masters and things that you can get from, like, uh, school. Like, beyond just, like, actually, like, going through the process of, like, paying for school and, like, get going through all the classes and doing that workload and everything, that's, like, all the stuff that I'm, like, pretty comfortable with for the most part. It's, like, just the idea of, like, where to start and what direction to go in that gets me, like, like, freaking out. It's, like, what do you do... To like, tr like, what, like, how do you go about getting like a master's degree or a PhD or any of these things? It's like, it just is so intimidating to me for like no real reason. Like, I just would have to do the research to find out like what goes into it and like what path you need to take and like how many years each one is going to take or whatever. But I just get so inside my own head about it that it's, uh, that my brain starts to break. I have thought about that in the past, about going back to school for, like, uh, an actual degree of some kind. I just don't know what I would really go for, or if it's, uh, in my best interest. Oh, nice. Thanks for the mixed seeds out of that ancient fruit. I really appreciate it. 
or if it's in my best interest to do that um, at this point in my life. Obviously, it's always better to have a degree than to not have one, especially in the current job market and everything. Never hurts to see that on a resume, but the way things are going for me now, I'm hoping to not have to need it. We'll see, though. We shall see indeed. All depends on this cactus fruit, really, how long this wants to keep the, the stream in limbo. <laughs> I didn't bring my watering can down here today. That's fine, that's fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not bad. What the heck? What was that sound? Oh, I think I was clicking on the sprinkler. I was It freaked me out for a second. I got a little bit jump scared by that sound. School debt is the scariest part. Yeah, very accurate. I did one year of university, I'm still paying off that loan. It's actually, like, nuts. I was back in, like, what what would that have been, like, 2013? I think I did a 2012 to 2013 school year. It still haunts me, even to this day. Certainly an interesting experience. The one thing I definitely will tell you that I miss about that, uh, that brief stint in university is the, like, cafeteria. I guess they don't really call it a cafeteria. What do they call it? Like, I, I was going to say mess hall, but that sounds very militaristic. Um, canteen, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember what they called it in Waterloo. But the place where you go to eat food. And they made some really good food out there. Maybe that was just my school, but like... Because obviously, like, school food does not have the best rap for being that good. But that's mainly, like, high school food and stuff when you think about that sort of thing. A college campus, they got access to a lot more budget and stuff for that sort, for uh, for actual, like, real good food. Like, they had, like, good sandwiches. They had, like, crepes and stuff. It was, like, we were living the dream. Nowadays, if I want a crepe, I have to go all the way out to, like, the mall or something and go to one of those little boutique shops. It's a little much, a little extra for me. Lunch hall. I think you called it the cafeteria or caf. I, yeah, for some reason, maybe like cafeteria sounds too juvenile to me. Maybe that's just because that's the way I think of it. But I, maybe it was called a cafeteria. It's just a word at the end of the day. So, commons, maybe refectory. Refectory actually sounds like it could be correct, Lionel. That might be the uh, that might be the term that I was used to. I don't know if there's any Waterloo alumni or students in chat, but. Crepes are mad easy to make and mad delicious. I've never looked into how to make a crepe, but I definitely should, because I really like them. I just worry that if I attain that power, if I unlock the the node on the skill tree of crepe making, that I'll, uh, I'll never eat anything else. It could be, it could become a problem for sure. All right, well, we're swinging by here, Gunther. Top of the morning to you. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, but, uh, oh, that's good. What do you got for me, sir? A little burnt offering? Place it inside your house? Sure. I don't think we can place it inside the museum like all that other furniture, so we might as well. Oh, a gold bar. That's kind of a unique one. That'd be really good to get if you got it uh, early in the game, but instead for us, it basically just equates to more trash. a lot of power for one man to have the ability to make crepes do you guys ever think of your life in terms of like an rpg skill tree like that or like you've invested like points into various different facets of your life sometimes i like think about it like that because i'm a big nerd And I always think about the fact that, like, I've invested so much time in the... I've invested so many of my skill points into, like, having a lot of patience and, like, dedication and loyalty and things like that. But not enough... But not, like, any skill points. Like, one or two into, like, the time management side of the tree. And that's a deadly combination to have because you get so focused on, like, certain things. And, like, you commit so much time that you don't realize how much you're actually wasting. <laughs> 
a little problematic, to be real with you. Okay, that's good. We don't have enough furnaces to allow us to do the rest of this, but we're also running low on coal, so we might as well cover that, cover our bases there first. Why did Clint pitch a gold bar? Must not have been perfect. Clint does have a little bit of that perfectionist energy to him. Had a small, small little scuff on the side of it or something. Who knows? Trying to make the exact right one for Emily. All right, uh, we go. We want monster musk today. We actually haven't made any monster musk in a while, but we're doing some uh, coal farming of all things. Let's get her done. Looked gold quality to me. You know what? Fair. All right, I don't remember. I mean, this looks like a pretty good start. I don't remember what the best floors are for these dust sprites, but 45 seems to be, uh, be ki being kind to me today. I do see, like, these big rocks and stuff around. I'm not going to focus too much on uh, stone farming just so we can get uh, more coal than, than anything else here. That's what we're here for today. Let's let's not focus on anything else. Let's not get sidelined. Sidetracked is actually the word. Sidelined means something else. <laughs> Ooh, a jade. I don't know what the odds are for a uh, slime like that to drop a jade, but I feel like I don't see that that often. I do also want to catch some of these bats so that I can get more bat wings for the monster musk because I think we're down to like just what what was it like five bat wings or something stupid. We need a little more than that if we want to maintain our supply here. Always freaks me out that those guys can break rocks. Trash can is nice protective armor. Do you see how little damage we're taking? Makes sense. Like, it is metal, but I wouldn't think of it that way. <laughs> really enjoyed your no-skill run of this game. Thank you very much, uh, Luca Bazooka. I also enjoyed it, too. Uh, I mean, for different terms of... different definitions of the term enjoy, I suppose. <laughs> It was a bit of a slog at points, but that's kind of what makes it more satisfying in the end. Like, obviously, like, that's a, that's, that is a notable thing about these sorts of challenge runs, is that tedium is kind of part and parcel with a lot of these challenge runs, for sure. Let me go ahead and keep this coal on me just so I know how much I got here. There's obviously bound to be a lot of tedious and, like, boring, not fun parts of these runs. You're kind of, like, watching some of it right now. Like, these, like, resource grindy moments and stuff, and, like, parts where you're just, like, sleeping through lots of days, waiting to get to the... the actual days that you need. But I'm personally of the mind that that makes it all the more rewarding when you do eventually get there. Maybe that's just me being weird. Just sinking so much time into something, it can make can make it uh, seem artificially more artificially more. I guess at the, that's all there is to it. Is there's just more to it, more valuable in a certain sense, which is definitely not always the case. Sometimes there's something to be said about less is more. Whether it's like spending less time to do something is uh, more valuable your overall well-being as a person. But I'm enjoying it, and I hope you are too. Hey, no worries, Toriel. Happy to put people's minds at ease. Exclamation point politics. That is why we're all here to an extent. Just a little escape from reality for a little bit. Rebescapades, thank you for a $5 super chat again. 
Um, please use your 6,000 wood and charcoal kilns to fix your, fix your coal scarcity prob problem. That's a great point. I should be doing a lot more of that. We're here now. We got the monster musk. We might as well finish this run out. But I should definitely be using that uh, that wood, especially knowing that I have a lot of trees on the south of my farm. That is a great point. Thank you for keeping an eye out for uh, the production value of the stream, as it were. What a lovely sight. It would definitely behoove me to invest in more charcoal kilns if I want to do that. But I could also just, um, just like put some wood in those charcoal kilns that I have every day. And it's not like I'm burning through coal necessarily every day. Most days I am, but I could probably like just about break even or, or even be at a coal positive if I do more charcoal kilns. Just or do those five charcoal kilns that I have once per day or even like twice per day, depending on how often I walk by them. Alright, let's go ahead and just about finish with the day here. What time is it actually like in real life here? Ooh, the Iron Edge. Hold on. Is this actually like... No, this is a terrible sword. Never mind. Compared to our Yeti Tooth, our beloved Yeti Tooth that has stuck, us, stuck with us through thick and thin. Imagine how battle-scarred this blade is by this point. It is going to be a bittersweet day when we ultimately have to replace it. But it'll be for the best. Much like the Super Cucumbers, it has served its purpose. I'm just kind of amazed that we haven't found, like, anything even close to, like, a better weapon. I guess we haven't been exploring, like, the bottom of the mines. Or, like, the like the lower parts of the mines where you're more likely to find a, uh, a strong weapon. Like, a level 7 weapon. Like some kind of club in like one of those uh, crates and barrels, or even from like a special slime drop. Have a good night there, Igor. Thank you for tuning in. But still, like, didn't we get this Yeti tooth in like, like the start of year one? Like, like pretty much on our first delve through the mind. It's been a while. I don't even know if this is one that we got from a. Uh, from a treasure chest, or if this is one we got like as a random drop, I could not tell you. I don't think it was like a predetermined one from a treasure chest, though. I think that was like what the obsidian edge that we got. That's like we might still have that kicking around somewhere that might be on par with this, but for some reason we've stuck with the Yeti tooth instead. Probably about equivalent stats, I would have to guess. Have a good night there, Abacus. You're not gonna miss too much more of the stream. We only got like 20, 15 minutes or so left. It's all good. Coffee bean, you don't never mind to see that. I definitely should just be doing it more like this, where you don't. I, I, I always go get in the bad habit of exploring these floors a little bit too in depth, when I should just be like grinding them out a lot faster. I knew there was a dust sprite there. I was like, did I kill that one? But no, it was just like a little bit hidden. You sneaky little dust sprite. And you know, with this this iron is close enough, we can probably pick some of this up. Uh, sorry, sap lovers. Did I end up fixing the copper axe? We still have our copper axe, so uh, no, we never remedied that mistake. We're just living with it, taking it as a symbol, more or less, of, uh, hey, we don't need to be perfect here. We just need to be good enough, and that's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and bring this diamond back. What else do I want to bring here? Jade is good. I'll bring back this, these, bring back the sap, why not? And the wood. So we're making lots of that into charcoal here, post-haste.
How do you come up with challenge ideas? I usually just think of the most uh, ludicrous possible things that you could do in a video game. And then, like, if that's too much, if that becomes, if that's, like, too big of an idea, then I try to, like, break that down into smaller pieces and see if, like, each of those could be their own specific challenge run. Or I try to, um, like, scale it back just as a whole and think of it in, uh, in smaller terms instead of, like, okay, instead of trying to get, like, 999 of every item in Stardew Valley, what if we just get, like, one of every item in Stardew Valley? That could be an interesting challenge in and of itself. Without actually, like, breaking your brain. <laughs> or breaking your spirit, more likely. Okay. Uh, these go in the fridge. This all goes in the fridge, actually. Get their gross yellow sea cucumber row. Hate to see that. I don't even know how much this stuff sells for. We can find out in a second, though. gonna be disappointing compared to our like super cucumber row obviously all right good enough have a good night there tim beam tomorrow's the flower dance we don't want to miss that that's gonna be a fun time that'll be a good way to end off the stream for sure age cucumber yeah, 187 is not terrible but i mean compared to the ancient fruit one no contest no contest Are you working on other challenges alongside the Price of Perfection? I do have one that I'm sort of working on on and off. I don't know when it's going to come out. It is a more, like, miniature challenge for sure. It's not going to take anywhere near as long as either this challenge or the no level up challenge, to be real. But it's still, it's still probably going to take, like, a decent amount of time. But I imagine that the video for that one will be out before the video for the Price of Perfection. That much is almost a guarantee. In fact, I'm not even, I'm not even going to prefix that with almost. That's a guarantee. That's a promise. I don't make those lightly. All right, let's go ahead and water our boy. Well, first, let's put this away. Then, you know what? Let's get some wood. We probably should, like, pop some wood just, like, in, like, a chest near these charcoal kilns so we can do uh, more of it actively. Is this only the second stream for this challenge? Oh, you got some stuff to catch up on, Luka Bazooka. <laughs> I think this is, uh, if my VOD counter is right, because, like, I, I always, like, uh, name each of the VODs in sequence after I finish recording them on here. I think this is either number 29 or number 30. One of those. Somewhere, somewhere in that range, at the very least. So there's, there's a lot of time to still get caught up on exclamation point playtime to see about how much. Oceana's already one step ahead of me there. <laughs> oh, Christina as well. There we go. Just a little bit at a time. Okay, let's go ahead. Um. Yeah, deposit all this stuff for the greenhouse. So we'll want to do our garbage run. I guess we don't have to do the garbage run technically before the flower dance, but it would probably be uh, best just to get it up taken care of early like that instead of having to wait. You may be wondering, Argon, who are you going to dance with at the flower dance this year? There's no question. You already know the answer. You don't You don't even have to ask me. That's one of those questions you ask all, like, tongue-in-cheek. It's like, hey, Argon, who are you going to dance with? You, knowing very well that you already know the answer is clearly Alex, obviously. No, it's Haley. I got you. I got you, though. Krobus. If I could dance with Krobus at the flower dance, it absolutely that would be uh, that would be a great time. But he doesn't like to go to that festival, unfortunately. All right, we got to get there before 2 p.m. Right, that's when the flower dance like officially ends. So we just got to make it there before that time. That should be doable enough with our chores and everything.
We already missed we already missed her birthday. We can't miss the flower dance with Haley too. That would just be that's that's relationship over at that point and justifiably. All right, five more. We can go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. And do I have the enough uh, deluxe speed grow? I do not, so we'll have to make a little more of this. No big deal. Grab all these as well. I'll run on up here while those go. Uh, go ahead and process. Get the oak resin and what we need coral. Kind of low on coral, but yeah, coral is kind of a tough one to come by. We'd actually need to go like and actively forge that. Can I put the tub of flowers next to Krobus so he can celebrate? <laughs> I kind of like that idea, Karita. Maybe I will. Uh, I will try that out. Just an honorary little flower dance for Krobus. All right, let's uh, be quick about our stuff here. I'll, I'll plant these ancient seeds later. I, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to like hoe and water and everything on top of the uh, and, and still make it to the flower dance in time and everything. So let's do this. Pop all this in here, not that. All right. We're on our way. We're going to go do garbages now. I, I did bring up my axe to go chop down that mahogany tree, but that's going to have to wait for another time. We still have time after we get back from the flower dance, too. It's only 10 p.m. when we get back, so we'll have a few hours to get things done. Oh. Melissa, thank you for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that. I also forgot to bring the tub of flowers. That's my bad. <laughs> but it's okay. Krobus will have a flower dance in our heart. I'm mostly a VOD watcher, but I wanted to stop by and say your voice is super relaxing. I tried listening to Z streams, but his voice is chaos. His voice is chaos. What a line. I love that. Well, I'm glad that I can be a little more soothing for you uh, in that regard. Ooh. Thank you for tuning in to, to, to mention that, though. That's really appreciated. I always get so so humbled and a little embarrassed when people tell me that they, that they like the sound of my voice like that. See, Haley's forgiven us. She's all good. Little cookies. I don't know where Haley's going either. By the way, she's usually heading off to the flower dance. She's got to claim her uh, flower queen crown. Ah, oh, what a nice stream to nap to. My people! Yep. See, he does have that vibe about him. Sorry if anyone was sleeping to this VOD right now, and I just, like, startled you awake with, with that, with that rendition of uh, Unsurpassable Z. I had to go deep into my into my chest for that one, and it still wasn't even as loud as his, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> More frickin' trash. Just a cookie and a pine cone. What a frickin' inventory we got. Alright. Oh, frick, I didn't... This is not the best outfit. I would've liked to wear something a little better for the flower dance, but it's too late to go home and change it now. I mean, we can pass this off, maybe? <laughs> what if we just, like, don't wear a shirt? Is this better or worse? I don't even know. I feel like I don't want to disgrace Haley by dancing with her dressed as a literal trash can. So I think this wearing like our like undershirt like this is probably honestly the better play. <laughs> Nothing to buy from Pierre. All right, let's say hello to the uh, people we still have to get our hearts up with here. Am I, am I going to be dancing today? What gave it away? Is it my amazing dancing attire? Look at me. I'll be playing the music and everything. How you doing, Shane? Alright, who else do I need hearts with? Is, it, is that everybody? Bass, Demetrius, Kent, Robin, and the Dwarf, obviously, but we'll get there eventually. Alright. Haley, practicing her dance moves up here. Needs to be perfect, of course, of course. 
She's been the flower queen for the past five years. I mean, I think she's been the flower queen for the past eight years, technically. But you know what? Maybe math is not her strongest suit. And that's okay. Ask Kaylee to be my dance partner, please. I know I don't really look the part. I just came from digging through your garbage, specifically. As well as everyone else's, but like mainly that she'd be probably freaked out about that. But we, you know what? She's still alright with it. <laughs> she still wants to dance, and that's what counts. Elaine, thank you for the $20 super chat. Enjoy the last week of your vacay slash holiday. Thank you very much. Yeah, we only got to... Uh, I'll, I'll be back to work on Sunday of this, uh, this week. Oh, by the way, I should mention this. I meant to mention it earlier in the stream. Um, Friday's stream, I'm going to have to actually probably push it back to... Or push it ahead, really, till Thursday. Because Friday I have some family stuff going on that I'm going to need to worry about that. So I will try to... I'll, I'll make a like community post about it and I mention it in the Discord real quick. But uh, Thursday will be the day for that. It'll still be the uh, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. that we've been doing. Or, sorry, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. for me. But, um... Yeah, it will be a day earlier than normal. So it might throw even more people off. I don't, it might be even even smaller... Uh, a smaller subset of people that are than what are normally here, but that's fi that's fine. It's all good. So hopefully uh, y'all don't mind that. What's the Discord link? Ex exclamation point Discord is your best friend. Either way, Lewis, let's get this show on the road, sir. I'm looking my Sunday best. Get this cursor off the screen. Off the screen. We can't even see our shirt, so you know what? It worked out nicely. It looks like we're just wearing some nice black dress pants or something. We don't quite fit the aesthetic of all the other dancers here. Always so cute. Get some flower emojis in chat. Whatever your favorite flower emoji is, go ahead and uh, plop it in chat for me. That was fun. Time to go home. Dot dot dot. Back to all this. All right. What else? Uh, so let's get let's get our our professional garb back on. Ah, huh, garb. Get it. Our garb garb. Karita, I see you coming in here with the cactus emoji. I appreciate that. The flower of the prickly pear cactus. I know joke. Did I looked up? Like, where can I buy cactus fruit near me for, uh, because <laughs> I wanted to potentially, like, do something like that. It was, like, it's like me, like, eating a cactus fruit or something. Or, like, at least, like, showing a picture of a cactus fruit that, so I can have it here while I, while I stream. I think that would be funny. No spoilers as to whether I found a place near me where I can get a cactus fruit, but it's, uh, shouldn't be that uncommon to, to come across, I don't think. Alright, did I have anything else that I need to do in here? We'll deal with that tomorrow. How it ends at 2 p.m. and you get back home at 10 p.m.? Uh, I mean, use your imagination for what uh, Chloe and Haley get up to between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. Because they, pro she pro they probably like, go back to her house after that and they just, you know... It could be many things. They put together like a jigsaw puzzle or something, you know? Sounds like a fun time to me. But remember, this is a PG-13 stream, so... <laughs> dragon fruit notwithstanding. We could... I mean, dragon fruit is... It's it's different in my mind than, like, a different... Than a cactus fruit. Because there's a specific thing called, like, cactus fruit, right? And then dragon fruit is just, like, the fruit of a cactus. Of a specific kind of thing. Have a wholesome time reading and watching movies. Exactly. Exactly. All right. 4.59 p.m. We're just about ready to end the stream. But, you know, I got to do it to him. We got to collect our jades from the crystallariums. And get a little Prairie King action in here. All right. We got pretty far last time. Last stream, we actually got to World 3 for the second time ever. An Effector's Challenge attempt. We'll see if we can, uh... If we can replicate that. Because I'd like to be able to consistently get at least that far in these attempts. World 3 in itself is a bit of a nightmare, even with, like, all the best luck in your favor. 
So we really need like a decent amount of gold at the start here in order to get our damage upgrades under control. We want two before we go into world three and preferably a fire rate upgrade would be ideal as well. This is off to a good start. But a few five gold pieces would go a long way. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, game. And uh, you can make your own decisions from there. I'm just putting it out in the universe. Part of me does wonder if I should, like, even if I die on this run, if I should just, like, see it through to completion. Just so I have, like, a little more practice when I get to, like, the final boss and stuff. Because, like, it's probably not a wise idea to, like, go into a Fector's Challenge final boss attempt against Fector himself without having beaten Fector ever since, like, the the time that I beat, it, beat him on stream to get this machine in my house in the first place. Because the nerves are going to be so high at that point, and it's not, like, an easy fight, necessarily, by any means. It's not the hardest in the world, but it's also, like, there, there's, there's a little bit of the skill required there, for sure. So, I might have to, at least, maybe not on this run necessarily, but at some point I'll probably have to, like, do some actual full playthroughs of the game in order to get that extra practice in. Because I do feel like I'm, I'm at a point in my life, for sure, with how much I've played this game and how far I generally get in these Spectre's Challenge attempts. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that I could, uh, probably consistently beat the game. Not not get Fector's Challenge, not get a Deathless run, obviously, but I can at least consistently make it to the final boss. I'm fairly confident in that. Uh, that was a little spooky, but I just wanted that money, man. I really did. Okay. That was also very sketchy. I'm getting, I'm getting a little close. I'm like, I'm like walking on fire here. Just skirting the line, you know? But I'm making it work as well. Sometimes you gotta make those bold, greedy plays if you really want to, uh... Ooh, God. <laughs> that, was a, that, that was even a little close for me. I couldn't tell if I hit the power or if, the, or if I hit the enemy first on that one. That was a little frightening. Struck by lightning. Sounds pretty frightening, even though the chances are so small. As they say. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's our first damage upgrade right there. Being able to get 15 gold before the first uh, shop is huge. That is not a guarantee by any means. I don't think we've gotten that in, in a while, to be honest with you. You can shoot diagonal, no wonder I always lose. I'm happy to bring you that revelation, I'm Pickle Joe. That would be a heck of a Prayer King challenge, trying to do all this while only shooting in the, like, orthogonal directions, the cardinal directions. I can't even, like, wrap my brain around that. Although I guess I kind of can't to an extent, because you can only shoot, uh... <laughs> you can generally only shoot in the four cardinal directions in The Binding of Isaac, which is what I always equate this to. Unless you get, like, analog stick or something. Which is an item, it's not a thing on your controller. Although it is, it's also a thing on your controller, don't get me wrong. But it's also an item in the game that lets you shoot in multiple directions! Okay. <laughs> I was asking for that one. I was I was I was pushing a little too far there. It's all good. I actually had a good feeling about that run too, which is kind of unfortunate, but tis what it is. Alright, off to bed for the night. Done and dusted. This challenge is just too hard. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Both the Price of Perfection and Factor's Challenge are, uh... They are on even playing field right now, is all I'll say. For the time being, 181,840 gold spent. We didn't spend any extra this time. I did consider potentially buying the final house upgrade that we need this stream, but uh, we'll put that off for a different day. For a more special, momentous occasion. Maybe we'll do that to celebrate getting the cactus fruit eventually. For now, I digress. Thank you all so much for tuning into this stream. I hope you had a lovely time. And um, if you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you'd like to be notified of the next stream. We will be going live again this Thursday, not Friday, at the same time. 
12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can find the, uh, dis the stream schedule in the description below. Although, the stream schedule right now will say Friday, but it is going to be a Thursday stream due to family matters. I'll post a reminder in the Discord as well as on the, uh, probably on my YouTube community post as well. Just to get the message out there as far as possible, but for now, I hope you all enjoyed. I will send you off with our lovely fan art compilation. If you have any further questions, um, exclamation point commands, and uh, hopefully, hopefully Nightbot can help you from there. I'm going to get out of here, though. I'm going to go have dinner or something crazy like that. What a strange concept. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful day, night, whatever you, uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you have a good one. Peace out.